push the button. And the button is put, I'm up here. I'm up, look, top, top corner, top corner. There you go, there you go, that's where I am. There you are. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Settlement Survival. I'm paused at the moment. Uh, the the uh, smoke coming out of, I'm just checking, I am paused. Yeah, there we are. Uh, the smoke coming out of various chimneys, notwithstanding, we are we are paused. Because everyone's belly aching about being cold and we've got no clothes. I mean, obviously, I've got clothes, but, uh, but there we go. Right, I'm going to pick it up. Let's pick it up from Paddy. Hello, Paddy. Um, and uh, Jerry's here, and Garrison San is uh, is here, and Kelsey. Uh, the musical Melody is in the house. Uh, Victor and Tim, Synesthesia, Kevin. Hello there. Nice to see you. It's a very pleasant evening. Uh, Jason and Pie Man and Paul and uh, Michelle and uh, and Jardine. And Danny get a bit. Uh, hello, hello. And Clumsy Colt. And Lieutenant Frank Drebin is here. Uh, Life Overflow and Kuza and Yan. And Off the Rails and Laudrian and Adam and Raz. And uh, Toothless Wonder and Daywalker and Rusty IT Nerd and Mr. McBald's Butt and Arjun and Todd and Tyrope. And Richard and Dralu and Dub Orton. Christopher and Steady Bob and Gradgy. And uh, A. Tylerkins and uh, Techie and Fred and Gretchen Dawn Treader and Techstar T. Kettle, Louis the Champ, Mass Holes, S. Smith, Coda B, Heroberg and uh, Techstar and Andre and T. Cebu and uh, James and Yankees fan and XBL, Mastro de Casa and Captain Blix and Alfred and uh, Animal and Earl and Peter and the Quiltless and Pioneer and Jeff with his boats and Robert and Megan and Sam and Mr. B and Deaf Mick. Deaf Mick is here. Sorry, Deaf, you, uh, you threw that one at me. Uh, Joshua. Anyone else? That's it? Good. No, nope, JMT's here. Good. Uh, so is Neil. And Cy and Chris and uh, Wolf. Yeah, good. Good. Wolf from Gladiators, of course. Uh, and Game Over and Malloy. Come on. Last chance. And, and Leah and Code Monkey Guru. And let's get on with the show. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oil head to win. Ricardo, GPS, ING, uh, Goss Patrick. And uh, there you go. Right. Hello there. Uh, right. So we're doing the Settlement Survival. This is going to be our last visit to Settlement Survival. We'll uh, we'll call this the end of the series. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure why everything's ruined, which is unusual. Right. To pick up uh, some of the news, we've got a new mine coming up over here. And that's about all I can remember. That's, uh, that is literally all I can remember. I recorded the last stuff of this pretty much a week ago, and therefore I can remember pretty much nothing at all. And uh, and there it is. So here we are, and off we go. Let's unpause. Now, we are out of... Yeah, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we are out of clothing, and we're out of tools. This perplexes me a little, because I thought I'd left it in a fairly good state of affairs, but evidently... I didn't. Oh, and fuel. Oh, that's, that's nice to see as well. No fuel, no clothes, no tools. The three things you really want to survive the winter. And uh, and there we go. Uh, didn't we run out of tools because of the new smithy? No, we'd run out before the new uh, smithy tool effort thing. That came online and now we, we should be golden. We're producing steel tools now, which should last a lot longer. Um, but hey, there we are. Uh... uh uh, do, uh, do, oh, excuse me, it's been a member for 38 years. Uh, I am going now, no, where I am like IKEA furniture. Doesn't entirely scan, but uh, thank you for being a member for such an extraordinary length of time. You're an extraordinary length of individual. Uh, Double Otters flung 10 of the Euros into the bucket, and we've got a hippo in a gaming chair and, uh, and doing aggressive cornering, which is what we like. Um, so, uh, so there's, there's that, uh, yeah, the fuel could well be because my, uh, my coal mine shut down, um, but I've already got the replacement being built. So as soon as that's done, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get it back in business. Um, yeah, I've, I've built some stadiums and I wanted to buy a cow. Of course I wanted to buy a cow. Uh, that, that goes without saying the, the, the trader's actually in the office at the moment. So, uh, so we'll have a look and see what's actually going on. Uh, inventory. I've got hand carts. I just bought these. I think this purchase was just made. I bought fuel as well. 
So maybe I'm literally just waiting for people to, uh, you know, you know, all that. Make the, make the necessary transitioning towards something beneficial. I'd also slung a whole bunch of stuff out onto the, uh, onto the trading house here so that I could flog it. Um, in order to buy exciting things. And I have, uh, by the looks of it, already done all the business with the trader. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. Okay. There we are. That's it. That's no, good. There we are. We're off. We're running. Let's, let's up the tempo a little bit. And maybe we'll come out of this in, in more than one piece. Uh, coming out in one piece is not enough. We want to come out in multiple pieces. Uh, all being well. Uh, we got some. We had some luxury goods turn up, which is quite pleasant. Um but uh but there we are yeah no th th this is going to be a sit back and watch for a couple of minutes and see if we can recover from the uh the imminent demise we've got 45 people who've who've worn through their clothing i don't know how they get through it so quickly uh but there you are they have done uh mavis the blacksmith has died of old age unfortunate for mavis and uh yeah no i don't no i'm a, i'm a loss i'm at a loss to explain why we're not uh, why we're not better off I was, I was fairly certain i'd left it in good nick but i'm evidently i'm mistaken uh well that's ah, just life right okay we've got to mine up uh okay miners let's get mining go to coal first uh because because uh, that'll fix the uh that'll fix the fuel problems at least at least in the short term and uh and then i can switch it over to whatever the heck i need to switch it over to when i switch it over to that Yes. Right, what's my objective? I'd quite like to get the tech to the point of being able to do a little bit of remodeling. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if we're going to get to that stage because I've got an idea about putting some canals in and doing tasteful things of that description. Um, but I'm not... That hardly feels urgent when no one can clothe themselves. Now, I did switch my clothing manufacturer over to linen rather than the uh, rather than the hides that I was using before. Put, uh, let's go back to alpaca wool for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, three citizens have no tools. Yeah, yeah, they can get over it and take a number. Um, there we are. Okay, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, 2K21 uh, has chucked two quid in a bucket and is very tall, uh, uh, very long, and uh, and six feet two inches tall. Well done. Yeah, good. Right. Uh, well, congratulations to you. I hope that brings you a significant amount of pleasure. Because um, it should do. Uh, uh, Def Mix saying play a plant a tree farm. I've got tree farms. I'm just using all the wood. Once I stop building quite so much stuff, the wood should start building back up again. Uh, and then uh, and then we'll be good. Because it's in the green, so it's coming in. Uh, let's have a look. I've got 45 planks, which, you know, I'm not using them. Now, a lot of my storage is being used with textile materials. Uh, which is nice, but I'd quite like to see some of those textile materials turn into, oh, I don't know, clothes. That could be quite good. Um, we've got 13,000 flax. There's, I mean, we could probably, we could probably make something out of that. Rope, maybe? Yeah, yeah you could probably, probably make some rope. The sand pit is making some sand. Super. Uh, although I'm, I'm done for sand, right? The uh, textile watermill is turning, uh, is making linen from flax, and we've got a linen production limit of 2,000. Well, let's up that to 3,000, and then we'll burn through a bit more flax. Uh, that will that will be helpful. Um, uh, Lordrin asks, how's herself doing? Uh, she's okay. She's she's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's not so bad. She's still poorly, but. Uh, uh, she's, uh, she's doing better than she was a couple of weeks ago. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, I wanted to become the sausage town. I was mucking about with sausages, you're not wrong. Uh, and if I recall correctly, and evidently I don't, I thought I was sausaging it up over here. No, you'll see it. When you see it, you'll know you've seen it. Well, I'm, I'm glad that's a thing. Yeah. All right, we've got 28 clothes in stock now, so that's bounced back. What we haven't bounced back, though, is the flipping tool manufacturer. Man manufacture, I should say. Not enough wood. Right, let's get the wood going. Um, yeah, yeah, that's 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 going to be the thing that helps us out the most, I suspect. All right, another logging camp. Uh, what's going on out here? 
that's going to be a gatherer's hut. I'm gathering out here to try and gather something that's a little bit, you know, unconventional in a gathering sense. Uh, over here, we've got another gatherer's hut. Down here, we've got the, oh, hello, it's the wild tree. No, leave it alone. No, 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 just, all right, fine. I don't, I don't want to do anything with it. I just want to leave it alone. All right, cut it down. There we go. Yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, I mean, if you're not giving me the choice to just leave it alone, then uh, then obviously I won't. I was quite happy with it where it was. But uh, but no, life is uh, is clearly throwing me the kind of curveball uh, that's, uh, that's no good. Uh, Robert says, stick an extra chap or chap s or gentle neutral personage in the tool making factory. I thought about that just now, but then I noticed that part of their problem is a lack of materials coming in in the first place so one of the things that i'm going to need to do is uh is is improve my uh, my transit of of goods and materials now i know that i'm uh, i'm pushing the the storage quite a bit in a few places but what would be in i mean i'll, I mean, I'll do it because you know it it might help it might not if it helps yay if it doesn't then file it under might not um but uh no what yes no transit stuff i was going to look into more logistics type research and see if we couldn't uh couldn't improve the situation there a bit bang up another forester just for the heck of it there we go All right you get to work i've earned a new tech point ah goody yeah okie dokie uh so uh so yeah there we are All Right. Right, clothes are starting to come around. I really should be doing something with this flax. Well, you're turning quite a lot of it into linen, which you're then going to palm off on, on any tradespersons who uh, are so inclined. I think a second tools establishment might be in order. Might be. They might be in order. They might be. A dog just graduated. Uh, Heidi graduated. You saying Heidi's a dog? I don't think so. No, but uh, but it's 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 hard to say to whom you're referring because the old uh, news ticker at the bottom is ticking along at quite a pace. Um, so it's you know it, it's all go. Right, where's my barbecue flipping huts and assor uh, an assortment? Because I built this over here. Look, here we go. World of sausage, friends. You know it. We know it. We all love it. Uh, right, I've got a 1500 production limit for sausages, and last year we made 33. Some way to go then. Yeah, okay, meat processing. Uh, you're doing buffalo meat and turning that into meat and fat. Fat I also want to do some stuff with. Uh, and you're doing alpaca meat, which turns into meat and fat. Uh, that meat then gets turned into, unsurprisingly, sausages. Just not very quickly. No, you would you would imagine it would go quite a lot faster than that. And yet, here we are. Autumn already? Oh, flipping heck. Yeah. How's this winter going to go? Worse than last winter. A goody gumdrops. Uh, okay, well, we've got 35 people who are unclad at the moment and 16 without tools. So we're not... We, we are making a dent in the clothless. Uh, but the, uh, the tallest continues to be a, a, perplexing, uh, a perplexing matter. Last year we produced 70 sets of tools. This year we've only produced 34. Now, it's only September, but there's only a couple months left in the year. And therefore, I put it to you that we're not going to bounce back from that. The wood is not exactly bouncing back either. No. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. The tool icon in the left menu is probably from stone tools. It does not show steel tools. Ah. Let's have a look. Nope. No, universal tools going on there. 13 citizens are already freezing. It's only October. They need to get their wits about and get down to uh, get down to Primark and pick themselves up a new jumper before it turns nasty. Now, th to be fair, we've got eight steel tools in stock now and the tracker is still showing zero. So the tool situation might not be quite so bad. I'm going more off this tracker down here than I am off what we've got in stock. Uh, when it comes to clothing, it is zero, the current counts. Yeah, okay. So we, I, I went a year with barely, barely building a thing. The knitting workshop, 
that's what I was going to do. I was going to build uh, flax rope. Just for the sake of having some rope that I can then lasso around things. Ah, good. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, super. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, well, it's, it'll happen or it won't. Um, right, I've got to pay more attention to my farming this year. Food's looking fine. Water's looking adequate. Uh, medicine's good. And timber's still a little bit flimsy. Yeah, how am I getting through so much of it? Well, you insist on building all the time. That will that will certainly make a dent in it. Uh, but if these new buildings start rolling up a little bit more briskly, then uh, then we should get ahead of the curve ever so slightly. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Yeah. No, there's going to be quite a lot of just look at it doing its thing for a little while uh, because uh, yeah, what else are you going to do? Well, what else indeed? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a case of, of, of wait for things to, to develop and not push too fast. Uh, then I have reeds. Did you build the reed thing? I'm pretty sure I've got a reed bed somewhere. Pretty sure, but I mean, what do I want them for? Make paper. Nah, paper's for mugs. Um, no, no, we're going to go digital. Straight away. It's all digital all the time. Uh, what are you? Fish? Yeah. Next to you is salt. No, I don't think I've got reeds. Well, if someone asks for reeds, I'll make them. But until then, I won't. Can't say fairer than that massive deforestation. Yeah, that could probably work. Uh, you need the upgrades. It should help productivity. But, uh, there's no should about it. It will, it will definitely help productivity. But the kind of productivity I'm after is uh, i mean if we take the tool shop for example uh the upgrades that we've got here you've got uh, brick kilns haven't got that um the uh the the reinforcement stuff which needs building kits haven't got that uh you need extra tables haven't got that and uh it, the another economy remodel there and i haven't got that either so as much as one would like to do some upgrades one does not have the technology to actually do the upgrades at the present time. It will happen when we get there. Water's looking a bit thin. Water is looking a bit thin. Yeah. 56 people, no clothes. Everyone's got tools now. Think we might be starting to make a tool surplus. Yeah, we've got seven left in stock. Okay. All right. This counter is becoming increasingly yes, less useful. Can there no way that I can tell it to track these instead? Maybe if you tick this. There you go. Right. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, that's just tracking domestic fuel. It's not tracking coal. Right. You're tracking just... Well, you could do the total of everything, but that doesn't seem to... That, I don't think that would help. Uh, what else might be useful to track? Now that I'm looking at it. We're definitely low on water. Okay. All right. Uncork this bad boy. Engage. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Neil, you've slung twenty of the bucks to uh, to fund the uh, the thermal undies for the people. That's uh, that's very civilized of you, and the people I'm sure will be incredibly grateful uh, for your donation. It's very nice of you. You know what it's going to take a second tailor, I think. I think it's going to take a second tailor, and I think you're going to have to run one with the alpaca wool and another running linen. Okay. Well, your al alpaca central is over here. Yes. Where's... Here's the linen mine. Yep. So, perhaps, if one were... Oh, hold on. What have we got going on down here? Oh, my knitting workshop's done. Sweet. Start turning flax in... Hold on, we, got a, we could turn bamboo into baskets. That's useful, that's an upgrade. Um, or reeds into baskets, or rope into fishing nets. Uh, I'm going to start just knocking out some rope for the time being, because uh, uh, that will help us out. For all of those rope-based tasks we might find ourselves facing in the future, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's going uh, to be super. All right. You should be able to directly upgrade the tailor. Uh, please hold. Right. Uh, there we go. Upgrades. Uh, to an advanced tailor. Materials for the upgrades are plankage, stonage, iron orage. Makes a greater variety of clothes. 
Now I can press the select button. It's interesting. Why can't I actually make it happen? Maybe I've not researched it. Maybe. But have I? I don't know. But look, if I do end up in a situation where I've got a surplus of clothes, I'll just sell them. I mean, that's, that's the way that we've been, we've been working so far. So let's go to processing. Let's go and find the advanced tailor shop. Yes, please. And, uh, and I'll plumb that in over here. I'll have a second, I'll have a second tailors. I'm, you know, I can do that. I'm the boss of my own, uh, my own everything. Uh, right. Yeah. Stick it right next to the alpaca farm. Make them look nervous. And you've got the linen production just the other side. That will, that will work splendidly. Uh, water still seems to be a smidge on the thin side. Yes. And it's still declining. All right, well, we'll just power up another flipping well then, won't we? Go on. There you go. Get back to work. Uh, doubles. Uh, you've flung another tenner in the bucket. Thank you very much. Uh, well done. Thank you. Uh, you now spend half your days watching the uh, backers episodes of Mode Sport Manager and the other half playing it. Mode Sport Manager, so desperate. I know that they've made a, a sequel on uh, on mobile but they've never made the sequel on pc which is a crying shame because it was brilliant uh very much enjoyed it it just it needed hang on one one moment uh it needed uh slightly better team editing facilities and uh, and a few more camera views and stuff like that but a version two i would have i would have picked up a version two in an instant without without breaking a sweat right what have you got for me we've got some candy that makes people happy yeah you got anything that i particularly want though uh luxury coats well that'll make people cheerful they're 30 quid a pop and you've got two thousand of them that could solve my uh my clothing problems there for a little while i want the hand carts what i want let's get let's get 20 hand carts yeah uh, let's get a hundred spirits in. I know I make them. Uh, we'll get a hundred candy in as well to feed to the young children. Just for their health, you understand. Uh, we'll get 20 baskets, although I'm going to start making them myself. And uh, and I'll get 20 coats as well. That's 1,900 quid. Right, I've got 500 linen, so we'll sell all of that. And then I've got 50 of all of these. It's going to leave me a little way short, I suspect. But that's Okay. What are we looking at? Uh, 1393. So if I slap 60, 50, 15, no, 500, and I'll uh, bet I'm off by 10. Nope, you bang on. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. We're happy. Yeah, we're happy, but stop spending money. Why? Because at some point he's going to rock up with a cow and or sheep in stock. And you're going to go, oh, I very much want that. And uh, and you'll find yourself a fiver short again. And uh, and there'll be the sadness that comes out of the other side. Uh, Tyrat, motorsport for backers. I can't remember how many seasons of motorsport either. I think there's three seasons, maybe four. Um, but there's quite a bit. There's quite a lot of, of, uh, of backer-worthy uh, motorsport action. And uh, and if you become a advert, if you become a member of Fail Brigade, uh, you get access to all of it straight away. Yes, you do. Um, for ease of access, though, you'll want to tune into Discord because I've got all of the exclusive stuff uh, in easy, handy, ready to find uh, environment there over on the Discord channel. You're welcome. Yeah, there we are. Good. Uh, there's also a mod for camera angles. It's pretty good. That would be great. Yeah, more camera angles in the game. I mean, it'd be it'd be great to be able to to ride first person. It's been that long since I played it. I think it must be four years since I played Mode Sport Manager. I just felt like it was you know there wasn't much more to do with it other than you know win all the time. Eh. Uh, but there it is. Uh, there you go. Right, as the rope production, we've made forty two units of rope, and you know what? I'm gonna have a surplus of rope before too long, so I'm gonna start whacking some rope out here to uh, to export uh, rope yeah search 
Rope, 29. Amount required for trade and an amount required for survival. We'll keep 25 in stock just in case I need it. And then we'll put 150 out here in the uh, in the go sell it. As soon as you can figure out, go sell it. There we go. Uh, RK the English has become a member of the Fail Brigade. Such was the tantalising prospect of untold hours of motorsport manager. Well, hold on. Let's do the maths. Probably about, I don't know, how many races in a season? Oh, I don't know. Let's say a minimum of 40 hours of Motorsport Manager exclusive content. Just sat content. Excuse me a second. I have to hit myself in the head with a papal stick. Uh, right, okay. Uh, Earl has also become a member of the Fail Brigade. Uh, 40, 40 or more hours of, uh, of Motorsport Manager are waiting there spectacular um and the whoop whoops that are flying in uh if that weren't all i can't remember off the top of my head i can't remember what other exclusive series i did a uh, dyson sphere program i think i did 20 of those and those ran to about an hour a pop as well um yeah quite quite a few of those yeah i, I need to do a new exclusive series and i'm going to do one that's a bit settlement survivally it won't be settlement survival, but I'll do one that is a, a little quicker to execute. Because uh, I have, up to recently, just been doing stuff that takes me an hour to record, and then um, another two or three hours to get to the point where anything's happening. It's just not... I, I can't afford the time sink. Uh, I, I mean, I would, I would far sooner... What do you need here? Hose. Needs iron tools. I'm not making iron anymore. I'd do steel. Surely steel tools would suffice. Surely. Anyway, we're rolling into winter. I've got 19 clothing in stock, although some of that will be them. No, it won't. Oh, hello. We've got a new administrator option. Merchant ships carry more goods, and uh, the alternative is immigrants' arrival is shorter. So we'll take the merchant ships then, please. A Kerbal Space Program. Yes, but I, I made that one live as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, you want to see me do stuff with Stegs again? I'd like to do stuff with Stegs again. Tell out of Stegs. Stegs has moved into a moved into an apartment that has got walls that are paper thin, so he can't be his usual uh, exuberant and shouting self, uh, which is a bit, a bit of a pain. Because when he used to record it, uh, he used to record it in the studio that he worked in, and uh, he doesn't work there anymore. No, he's too busy making games about hospitals that are very funny. Yeah. Still, we do have we do have plans. I'm going to get Stegs up here for the weekend, and we'll uh, we'll slap something together during that time, which should be a good fun. Um, Eduardo, you're throwing this into the bucket uh, to give me a pleasant surprise when you caught up with the settlement. Survival. Eduardo has time sw time switched himself a uh, a donation, so he can kind of go. Hey, Eduardo, you the guy. There you go. See, it's all right. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Colonel Space Program. Yes, of course it is. Yeah. One citizen's starving and one is thirsty. Well, those two citizens are idiots. And I now have I have loads of water now, so we can shut this extra well down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Turning buildings on and off in order to make some... The travelling merchant is here. All right, you thieving git, what do you want? Right, for a grand, yes, you'll give me something random. I'll take it. What have you given me? Meat cans, 350 of them. Brilliant. No, cheers, bub. No, that was, that was very good of you. Very, very good of you. Um, Hank the trader has suffered from depression and committed suicide. Well, okay, Hank. Um, but it, there, there was plenty to live for. Uh, I think you've, uh, I think you made the wrong call there. There's always, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So uh, you're a mug, Hank. You're a mug. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, I know. Just. Uh, Stegs would have been handy in a bailing episode this week. He could have toggled the truck straps while you toggled the tractor. Uh, I have, tr I have. He's previously tried to persuade the boy Stegs into uh into some farming 
and uh, he made a sound that went a little bit like no 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 he enjoyed it when we did it as i mean those episodes were magical and wonderful and full of full of joy and vigor uh, but he doesn't want to do it ever again all right i've got three techno points and i'm going to spend them on something useful uh, cuz uh, cuz that would be uh, that would be a good thing to do uh, Arcady says, uh, I love Motorsport Manager. Uh, it did lack any challenge once we were on top. Uh, been binging on the rising star and remembering your own wannabe Kiki Tyrant days. I love Rising Star. Rising Star's great. Um, but it felt like I'd, I'd told all the stories that needed telling. Uh, and that's, I mean, th there are a couple of reasons why I stop uh, recording something. Uh, that The most obvious is nobody's really watching it or, or insufficient people are watching it and therefore i should pivot to something else but these days i'm trying to do a uh, a very clear and distinct you know what pottery that feels like something we should have that's the first thing i research in civilization and i don't have it here what does it bring me what does it, what does it get me i don't know but i can make clay and sand into cutlery clay cutlery oh okay keep looking all right uh, we've got uh, exploitation tech, which means that I can do the quarry. No. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlocking the quarry workshop and mounting quarry workshop will reduce accidental deaths. Exciting. Uh, the mounting quarry is the same function as a quarry, but with, uh, quarry, but with greater output. I don't need it at the moment. I, I, quarrying doesn't uh, doesn't excite me so much. Forge might be good to go. Then we can build steel and earthquake. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll investigate. What well, you know? What I might show, I might slow the game down while I'm poking the uh, poking the tech tools here. <sighs> yeah, uh, check your workers' trading post. Uh, it should I, it should be working automatically. They keep uh, they keep sending stuff out and bringing stuff back again, and I'm pretty certain the only things I've got out there are. Uh, are, are just bits that I've got left over to sell. Now, I could do the brick kilns, which would be useful, but I need ovens. All right, how do you build ovens? I don't have that tech at the moment, unless I'm mistaken, which is possible. Right, moving on. Uh, agriculture, breeds, nets, fish pond, fishing. I've, I've, no, doesn't I don't need it. No, what about a forest farm? Talk to me. Uh, you can place trees, produce a large amount of timber. All right, let's do that. That's a good one to have. Let's do that now. I've got tech points in hand. We'll come back for it. Now, I shouldn't have lost any buildings there because I have invested money in making sure that everything stays constructed. Whether or not I did that or not is anything to say. Logistics. Thank you, Robin. Yes. Robin. He's on the money. Robin knows a thing or two about stuff and things. Uh, right. I've got Forest Farm. And it can be whatever size that I decree. Now, given that we're forever running out of wood, I'm, I'm just going to set up a forest farm near my, uh, near my industrial zone. It feels like it's the right place to do it. Uh, right. Slap that in as big as you can get, please. Yeah, right there. 165 clay required. Pretty sure I've got 165 clay, but I couldn't tell you for certain without looking it up. I've got 1,184. It's all good. Uh, let's check in on my trading hut here. Uh, Caravan 1 is no longer working automatically. Well, let's get it working automatically then. Um, right, selling items. Selling items, yes. I think we can sell uh, rope. Yeah. Search. A uh, rope, which goes 4.5. Very nice. Very good. Uh, how much are you going to take of that? We'll only take 50 because the rest of it's waiting for the ship. Um, and then we'll sell uh, we'll sell uh, soap. See, rope, soap, uh, the Pope, and uh, dope. There we go. That's what we'll sell to our neighbours. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that, all things that rhyme. And then we could probably do a bit of linen. Yeah, L I N I N I N I N E N, you clown. Uh, that will do. Well, how much you got left? Nine hundred in space. 
We'll do 900. I'm making linen like there's no tomorrow. Right. Hit sell. Good. Gain 3,800. Right. And then from now, we shall bring back stuff which would be useful. Let's go for half a dozen. No, let's go for 10 down jackets because that'll cheer people up. Uh, we'll bring back 10 iron tools because it, as much as that's expensive, yeah, that will cheer people up. Let's then go for 100 beer, uh, light or otherwise, uh, would be ideal. What else do I like the looks of? Um, ideally, I mean, the main objective is that you come back with a bunch of cash, you see, and then, uh, then we'll be, you know, primo. Will we? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, look, well, oh, bring me out some, bring me out some candy. Yes. Uh, how much do you want? Fifty. Bring fifty sweeties for the kiddies. That'll be good. And some health products, bandages, uh, special medicine, medical soap. Yeah, but you're already you're already selling them your own soap. Why would you then? Because this is medical. All right. Bring back some medical soap. Yeah. Anything else? Thank you, autosave. You have arrived at just the right moment once again. Um, anything at all? You know what? I think I'm good with that. There you go. Right, so that should be two and a bit grand each time we... Uh, all of that. Right, form it. Uh, hold on, where's the loop? There you go, there's loop. Is there anything in there that I don't want to loop? No. Loop it. Right. That's going to run forever and make me money. Slowly, but regularly. That's going to be good. Uh, forestry farm is better than a forestry hut. Manpower versus output. Yes. I don't... Yeah, no, I mean, that stands to reason. Um, it's just just getting it set up, and then we'll, uh, we'll benefit accordingly. It's already being built, so that's handy. Five citizens need clothes. Oh, yeah, I was going to build another tailor, and then I was going to do logistics. I mean, obviously, I was potentially going to do that the other way around, but let's do it this way around. Tailoring advanced didn't i already place this i think you looked at it and then got distracted i didn't get there's a lighting factory with which i can t i thought i'd place that as well you have look here you go there's your ta tailor right clothing down jackets are made of leather and wool to make a down jacket oh nice yeah linen Alpaca wool down jacket. Oh, we should do that. There you go. Right, that's your that's that's your job now, Dennis. Knock out as many of them as you can. We'll have the uh, limit to five hundred, and I possibly ought to cancel my trading where I'm buying them in. But extra down jackets are all fine. Yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be fine. Okay, so what else are we looking for? Lighting factory. Because then I can use my blubber. Can you? Yes. Right, what are you? Masonry workshop. You are fuel factory. You are lighting factory. Make lamp oil. I've already got it. It's That's already a thing that's happening. And you're maxed. You reckon? Well, hold on. Look. You're not maxed. Okay. If I'm, in which case, I think I can give lamps... It's only lamp oil... No actual lamps are included. Okay, well, where do you make those? Ah, somewhere else. Oh, flipping egg. Yeah, yeah, you may well flip an egg there, son, but uh, there, therein lies the dilemma. There's so, going to be some sort of smelty, flipping, blacksmithy, flipping something or other, isn't it? It might be. Well, I'd, uh, hopefully, it are. Um, yeah. Where does one... Poking various buildings is not going to give you any extra education on where one would go to make a lamp. You reckon it's a smithy? I reckon it might be. Well, let's have a look. Let's talk to the smithy. Uh, yes. And then go... Do you make lamps in the smithy? No. You could make exquisite swords, though. I don't want to make exquisite swords. I'm quite happy with the swords I don't need already. Given that we're not going to face invaders anytime soon, uh, you can make them lanterns for the quality uh, for the what? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. D 
then I, it's going to have to be made somewhere else. Where would one, maybe the tech tree will tell me, to mining? No, lamps don't live under mining, despite the fact that's where you're going to use them. Lighting. Right. Lighting factory. Oh, you make, you make the lamps in the lighting factory. <laughs> ah, more for me. Well, okay. Uh, right, okay, well that's just using fat to make those. Let's now make, hold on, glass bottles. I'm definitely not making glass bottles. In which case, I'm just going to keep knocking out lamp oil for the time being. Uh, and then I'll make glass bottles in, in due course. One citizen's starving because he's an idiot. The one thing I've, I'm not short of is flaming food. I've got more food than anyone could possibly need. Right, logistics. Let's go. Okay. Okie dokie, I've got two points, I'm spending them both. Now, the transfer station, I'm not entirely certain what it's for, except that it's going to be useful. So I'm doing it. Right, and then we've got the small supply station. Now, again, I'm not entirely sure what it's for, except that it's going to be useful. And then this one, which is the regular supply station, um, it says it's functionally powerful. And that, to me, says, ah, oh, clearly the kind of thing that I want. So we'll, we'll do that as well, and then I'll buy this one to, uh, to round it on out there. We'll see. Right, transfer station. Can store items. Workers inside, yes, will transport stored items to warehouses outside the range. I don't know why that's useful. But apparently it really is. And then you've got the supply station. Can transfer port selected raw materials to supply station for nearby production buildings within the scope? Mm. Can improve the processing efficiency? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. That sounds functionally powerful. But I'll be honest, I don't know what they're on about. What I do know, though, is I've got a lot of processing buildings here, so I'm going to slap one in there and see how it gets on. Yeah. Oh, what about the transfer station? Well, it puts transfer station next to it, and they'll be like, Gracious, uh, Your Majesty, uh, this is this is a large quantity of, uh, of uh, functionality that you've brought to us. My goodness me, how you are spoiling us with these logistics. I go, I know, I know. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. We could grow bamboo. Stuff bamboo. We need trees. Lads, trees. Do the tree thing. Yes. Scarecrows? No, nah, she went of her own accord. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Right. What are we looking at workers-wise? We've got eight. Eight spares, but not a lot of kids. Oh, people are telling me how it works. I think transfer stations are for when you have several small settlements on a map instead of one big one. Yes. Uh, probably set up supply lines within the city. Michael there, having a guess, like it. Uh, store at both production area and consumption area to buffer the areas so that they maintain constant production. Sounds exciting. Uh, storing clothes, food, tools, etc. It transfers them around so people don't have to cross the map to get them. Oh, yeah. uh, could that help your tools factory to have these stations near it? I'm glad to see that nobody knows. Um... This is a this is heartening. What I do know is that we've got loads of tools now. Yeah, I see that was a dilemma that we surely didn't have. Yeah, I also hold on. We've got an event, the mysterious merchant. How mysterious? Two hundred croissant for a thousand silver coins. Go away. I'm not feeding people flaky pastry for a grand. No, 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 no. They can eat gruel. Like they were trained to do. Uh, these people. Yeah. Now then, let us figure out with what we can make glass. I can't pro I can't rule out that I haven't got a glass works already, and it's probably making you know glass. Uh, right. Fuel factory. Kiln factory. Kiln factory does it. Good. Where is that? Because I've definitely got one. Because I'm making glass. Um. If I was me, and I am, where would I have put it? Um, here. No, that's the lighting factory, and you knew that. You're just being facetious. 
what's this that's a warehouse okay yeah something that says factory that i don't understand the purpose of but that's all of them um uh, uh, ship all right hello shippy ship ship what have you got for me today uh you've got roast turkey turkey beef grapes alpaca wool nice whole load of rubbish mate building kits 30 of them count them with your hands uh iron statues no i'll make them myself and then flog them back to you because that sounds like a complete way you got a load of old tosh mate that's what you've brought and you know what else it's rubbish that the traders will not trade for money i, I can give them coins but they won't give me coins it's disgraceful no i'm not interested this time pal no clear off do one sling your anchor and your hook there we go uh yes good you've got to no, you've got to tell him his boss no otherwise they'll they won't guess it for themselves they'll go oh i thought i was boss and you go no you're not you're not flipping boss i'm boss you are not boss glass kiln left side of the uh, left side of the river on the bottom glass kiln hello clinic no reservoir definitely not sand pit no repair shop no compost plant no small warehouse no smithy well i knew that uh what are you still the clinic okay that's the town hall yeah kiln factory do you do glass they do do glass right thank you good yes excellent uh bricks why are we only storing 200 i have 300 there you go go wild um, we only made 10 last year. What are you playing at, Bob? Do you want backup? Is that it? All right, okay. I'll hire you a buddy. Fiona. Bob and Fiona's magical kiln factory. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's tell him to make something else. Would you like to make some glass bottles? Yes. There you go. Make me glass bottles, and then I'll turn them into lamps, and then I'll forget to use them. All right? So, crack on. <laughs> maybe order some new seeds i haven't got the cash yet chris not yet andy here we go hey. don't know why it's useful uh but it is literally every product from lakeland yeah that's true yeah yeah or um uh what's his name the, the swedish chap the useful shop uh class olsen uh use useful shop uh, it's just full of stuff or robert dias they're, they're all the same. You go in there going, I don't need anything. You come out and you kind of go, I appear to have 400 quid's worth of tap here, all of which are going to improve my life in some fashion I can't fully explain. And you go, well, that is. Yeah, I suppose that is. Um, yeah. Hello, Arctic. Nice to see you. Um, right. What's, what's our next grand scheme that's going to improve things? You know you built a quarry here and you've not turned it on. It's because the output limit's reached. Turn it off. There you go. Tornadoes are terrible. What now? Hold on a moment. Slow it down. Tornadoes are terrible disasters. Uh, it will sweep. It will destroy buildings along its way, sweep away supplies, and cause the death of a large number of citizens, plants, and animals. Shelters can protect citizens' lives during tornadoes, and structural reinforcements can stop buildings from being destroyed. Tornado time, everybody. All right, there we go. Right, where are the bees? Because that's where it's going. You know it. I know it. Right, where is it? Show me the torn. The tornado animation had better be stellar. I'll tell you that. Okay. Right. Ah! Found it! Yeah. You can stay there as well, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into action mode here. Let's go and watch things close up. Okay. So far, it's just blasting the wilderness. That's okay. Uh, career instance here. Uh, a small donation to the fund uh, for putting the citizen who got struck by a meteorite back together. Thank you very much. Surely it's done by now. Haven't you blown yourself out? Come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave, leave me alone. Just go about your bit. Uh oh, who's this? They're going. Doo, 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 doo. That is a forester's hut. Well, actually, I've got a forestry farm now. I probably don't need you guys. 
So if you happen to get swept up by this tornado, as much as it will be very sad, and we'll all be very sad about it, uh, at the same time I won't really care too much. Try not to die. Okay. Okay. Uh, Matt flung seven and a half of the pounds into a bucket. And that, that bucket is sat in front of me, looking mysterious. As your late fees took too long to roll home after eating far too much sushi. What, one piece of sushi? There you go. I quite like sushi, so they, it's, I mean, that was senseless. Sen a senseless piece of, uh, of dissing the sushi lovers out there. So I quite like it. Oh. Well, that's made your job easier, lads. Now, pick it up and get it back into town. No? Okay. All right. How does one remove the UI? F11. So it's, the, it's the kind of thing you only look for when you have to take a screenshot to go on the front of each video. Yeah. Uh, activate Skyward, says Matt Hall. Oh, the foresters kind of, they're now sat there flicking the Vs at the tornado going, <laughs> oh no, that's Town Hall. You're going to leave that alone. Oh, no, it's coming back. It's coming back from me. It, obs it observed the obscene finger gestures and went, ah, oh, that's it. No, I'm not standing for that. I'm a tornado. Is it blowing out? It is. No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was. I thought the sound was decreasing, diminishing. What are you? You are a hunter's hut. Hope you're going to hunt a flipping tornado. Neil, the builder, has died of old age. There you go. That's all the news that's fit to report there. Yeah, the foresters are all sat there looking smug now again. <laughs> oh, could it be? No. Why has it got light? Because it's daytime now. Or it stopped raining or some such. Has the tornado finished with us? Please don't blast. You know what's over here, don't you? We've got the tailor and the tool factory. The two things that we've been struggling with so far today are sat right there. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's get in. Here we go. This is uh, news camera reporting it as it happened. That dude's very calm. He's not bothered in the slightest. Let's go this way. Now, so look. Just wander around with your cart. Yeah. Okay, well, it's... Oh, there's a troop. What are you doing with that? I think she got murderated by the tornado. Let's have a quick look. Yep, Todd. Todd disappeared after... Oh, you blew up the church. Bang. Okay. All right. Church has been done. Now, this is a housing estate. There's nothing of value in there. And I'd rather you didn't shred this workshop full of stuff. Oh, hello there. That's a blown up house. That one is. No, that one's just been repaired. Wow. The. Uh, no, it's, it's back in again. Okay. This tornado's persistent. I'll give it that. If you wouldn't mind clearing off out the other side of town, get the church fixed. That's quite a few houses uh, that have been done there. And whist. What's going on now? No, it's okay. It was just, it was respot. Don't take out the theatre as well. You can't take out all my buildings that make people happy. Although cleaning out the graveyard is helpful. That way we've got somewhere to bury all the people that are killed by the tornado. We'll stack them too deep, but we're fine. Yeah. 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 I'm seeing it. Yeah. 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 Another tree. Oh, and of course the theatre's gone. Good. Cheers for that. That's very helpful. Uh, Cassandra the Sheriff is missing after being taken away by the tornado. She'll be back. A few people are homeless. Uh, a few people should count themselves lucky they're not dead. 
Hang on. It's reversing course. It's not reversing course. It's going up the mountainside. Go all right. Okay. This is a mine. No, that's, that's Sherry, a citizen, who is a miner. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like this. Uh, Borg says I can see my house from here. Very good, Borg. Uh, it's a twist to Dorothy. I mean, you know, that, that works too. Yeah. You can complain about Jonas nicking your design for the tornado anti-warning system. That's also permitted. Yeah, okay, yeah. Have you finished yet? I mean, a special features go. I mean, you know... That's pretty brutal. I mean, that's a lot more brutal than the earthquake. Do not take out my trading dock. That would be that would be jolly disappointing. Ah, it's all right. No, no, you're okay. It's just, it's just going. It's been swerved past. Also, didn't take out a warehouse. It could have taken out your your tools and your uh, and your and your factory of clothing. Uh, Oscar the miner has been carried away in the tornado. If Oscar had been doing mining at the time, rather than being up top slacking off, it'd have been fine. But uh, classic Oscar, he decided, no, 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 I'll, uh, I'll just kick it around a bit. Have you had enough yet, or what? No, no, it's still not enough. Well, it's jolly destructive. You still? Yeah, no, it's still going. All right, what's next on your flight path? More foresters than that. Unless it decides to veer right all of a sudden, which I don't think it will do. Right, let's turn our attention. It's just going to do more of the same. Although I'll check in on its progress in a moment. Uh, right, up tempo. There we are. Let's get the rebuild orders going. All of this. Yeah. In any particular, uh, get the theatre up. There you are. I've no idea what, how it's going to prioritise, but presumably it will do. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, well done, everyone. Right, that's why I want reinforcing kits for me houses, then. Fine. I just thought it meant they decayed less, less swiftly. But evidently, no. All right, okay. No, that's all right. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not downhearted. I mean, if anything... This is good. We've purged some unbelievers. And, uh, and that, is it still going? No, it's cleared off, look. Although, what, what were you? You were a forester's hut. Uh, I don't want to rebuild it. I just, I'm just going to leave it busted. Yep. I'll leave that busted. I don't need to rebuild it. We'll leave it there as a testament. Good. Uh, Gretchen, <clears throat> I noticed it stopped people saying uh, that they had no tombstone after it had emptied the graveyard for me. Yep, and the graveyard is now freshly populated with the dead uh, from the uh, from the tornado action there, which is splendid. So all in all, I think we'll call that one a score draw. Yeah, yeah, or thereabouts. Once these houses are rebuilt, and uh, and if people have got any sense, they'd get a shake on and make this happen as quickly as possible, because otherwise they're going to get flipping cold come winter, and uh, and then then they will be complaining. Um, but by shuffling around a few of the residents a little, we might end up with a, a, a mini population surge. We might not, of course, but we might. Yeah. I am slightly worried about the amount of wood we're about to use. Oh, don't be, don't be worried about the wood. Oh, shut up. Right. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, you can very clearly see which way it came. It came this way. You, you were there. We watched it. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh... A watched rebuilding town doesn't rebuild, so uh, we'll go and look at something else. Now then, how are we getting on vis-a-vis -vis stations O transfer? Uh, this is the station transfer. It's giving me an exclamation mark on glass. Because it's still building. Fine. Okay. All right. Good. And then next to that is the small supply station. Supplies. Um, yes. No, I think you're going to want iron, coal, because presumably this works to supply everything nearby. So by effectively, what I, what this is going to do is when I hit a button on here, so we've got lighting going on there, right, which processes fat. So if I were to say here, fat, yes, fat, right, and uh, and I go, yep, how much, 
Keep a hundred in stock, please. Uh, then, presumably, uh, young Aiden here will help fling fat at my uh, my light maker. Meanwhile, here, iron, he shouldn't have to call for because this place should be stuffed with it. And it is. Okay, well, what else do you need? Uh, this place, coal. Coal, right, yeah, yeah. We definitely need some of that because that's now being produced over the other side of the map. Uh, coal, yeah, search, yeah. Let's go with 100. Crikey. Yeah. 100 of that. No. 100 of that. I clicked it in the wrong order. These things happen. So we'll leave it like that and see if this, this helps at all. Uh, Marcus has flung 50 of the Swedish crowns into the buckets uh, as a donation towards the Tornado Refugee Fund. That's jolly decent of you. 10 citizens are freezing. Well, they should have helped rebuild their houses while they had the chance. Can't blame me for that. I didn't do anything wrong. Nope. Not a thing. Did nothing wrong. Not at all. Not a thing. How's the fuel situation? Fuel situation's adequate. Uh, and I'll tell you something else we ought to do. We ought to do that and this. And that. And this. Can I not have them both? I don't think you can. Maybe. maybe. Ah, there you go. There we are. Right. That will now give me a slightly more accurate read on the actual amount of uh, of coal. And we'll do the same for clothes as well, actually. There you go. Given that we have clothes of many varieties. And we'll do the same for tools, because we have that going on as... Well, tick it then. There. Right. Good. Yeah. Happier. Good. Okay. There we are. Yeah. Good. Right. Good. Yeah. Uh, did I change the glass kiln from making glass to making bottles? Uh, I did. It was making bottles when last I spake. Uh, glass kiln. That's the light factory. Glass kiln is over here somewhere. Uh, is it you? That's the repair shop. It's not you then, is it? Why were you pretending you were? All right, this one. That's a warehouse. Okay, that's a clinic. Yeah. Oh, flipping egg. Glass. Yeah, I mean, you can say it as loud as you like. It's not going to make it show up. You're just going to have to poke it. Well, it's even harder to find now because we're in the winter and therefore it's changed its its appearance. It's all snowy and fresh. Um, yeah, town hall, yeah. Kiln factory. You are making glass bottles. Yeah. And we made 250 glass bottles. This is my... I'm somewhat surprised by that face. Uh, in which case, you can go back to making bricks for a bit. There you go. Have fun. Oh, actually, go back to making glass for a bit, because matey boy was saying, I ain't got any glass. We've got some immigrants. Yeah, I've got 32 homeless people already. I don't think we need any immigrants at the moment. Uh, but thanks for playing. Oh, go away. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's going on with my trading? Glad you asked. Uh, we've got 260 and change days left in the uh, in the trade mission, which will bring back two and a half Gs, assuming they don't get jacked by bandits along the way. Well, we'll see, we'll see what's uh, see what's going on there. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. All right. No, oh, there we are. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm resisting the urge to place anything else until we've got a few of these houses rebuilt. Although plenty of people seem to live through the winter without a house. I don't know what they're complaining about. Uh, still 29 people who are uh, unhoused at the current time. Good news is that, that that spate of deaths going on there means that I've got fewer people requiring education at the moment. So it's a net positive. Of sorts, yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna burn through a lot of wood uh, in in doing this. Now, what we what we should have over here is we need a. I'm not sure that a transfer station is going to help me that much, so I'm going to go with a small supply gizmo, which I will slot in if I can find a space for it. Right there is a good place. What was there before? Don't know, but it doesn't matter. Okay. And that I will have bring steel and whatever tailored good stuff we need and whatever all of this lot needs. Yeah, that feels like it's using it the way it was intended to be used. I 
it feels like it. Whether or not it is or not remains to be seen, but it feels like it. Um, now, I could do a quick deforest of all of the uh, trees in town, which might help with the rebuilding effort. Let's do that. Fell trees, please. Felling trees. Trees felling. Fell these trees. They go, oh, but you're taking away all of our natural environment and making the land value less. When I put my house on Zoopla later today, it's not going to be worth anywhere near as much. They're going to go, hey, you'll get over it. At least you'll have a house. Uh, you know, uh, nobody else has got one at the moment. Now, what can I add to this to make it better? We can add a cat, Y, dog, uh, or blankie, a bed. And that's made of a bedding set. I see. Cloth or linen and wool or feathers at the bedding shop. That's a thing I should be making. I think that's going to make everybody very, very happy. Your caravan met with mishap, you sons of... Um, yes. People were dead and goods were lost. You suffered a great many losses without buying insurance. I thought about buying insurance. But I said, well, that's only a 2% chance. We'll be fine. Yeah, no, it's it's gone. When you, it was implying that we lost some bits and pieces rather than it was a total loss. Seven dead people and lost all of the goods. Sad face. Yeah. Uh, Neil, uh, I know it might be uh, a bit of an ask, but you should do an F1 2021 series. It would be brill. No, it wouldn't. Run the play. Think Think about what it would be. Right, um, it would either be me crashing into stuff, right, which will be funny the first time, um, but on subsequent occasions it won't be funny, because the th the thing with Formula One is you have to learn the tracks, you have to learn the car handling, and you have to learn the track, and that's really all there is to it, um, and makes it sound simple, but it means that you've got to invest a heck of a lot of time before you're going to get anywhere close to proficient, and once you get proficient, it then becomes Driving very, 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 very well, the end. That's all it's about. It's just about doing stuff well. Uh, doing stuff badly in an F1 game wouldn't be fun. If it had a management mode, on the other hand, that's entirely different. Because then uh, someone doing stuff badly... Why have I got a ding -ling bell? What's going on here? The sheriff found a murderer. Oh, dear sheriff. What are you doing? was accused as a murderer and this is Kay the water fetcher okay she's got a down jacket and a steel tool you would have thought she'd be happier all right hello there how you doing all right you've been accused as a murderer okay what do you want me to do about that uh, I want to find a thing with a whatnot uh yeah okay can I now where's the uh yep boot em. get out of my town murderer all right there we go Kay will murder no longer you don't watch this to watch me do it well. I know. That is my raison d'etre. Uh, and therefore, it's the, it's the, wrong, it's the wrong thing to do. Um, you want stuff... The, what you're after right, is, let's say it's a racing game, you would want a racing game where it were possible for me to do very well all of a sudden, purely by chance. Just fluking doing well would make for an ideal series for me to do. Something where you need skill in order to do well means that either I develop the skill to do it well or I don't, in which case I'll do it badly. There is no in-between. Um, this is not a skill-based play channel. This is a trying to rationalise how to play things without necessarily referring to any optimum paths whatsoever, instead relying on my own moxie uh, to make it happen. That's moxie. Um, and, uh, and, then, uh, and then seeing where the chips fall. And occasionally coming up with something that is actually quite clever without aiming to do something that's quite clever. I use reason to play the games. And then I forget what I was reasoning previously, uh, which is why things go awry from time to time. So it's a nice idea. But there you go. Yeah. Uh, have you ever played Oxygen Not Included? Nope. And I have zero intention of doing so. None whatsoever. The odds of you seeing me playing Oni are zero. 
two reasons. Right. Reason number one is I don't like the art style. I do not like it. I find the art style, and I know a lot of people really like the art style, so this is definitely just me. I find that style of art to be disingenuous. It is uh, purposefully crude and cutesy poo at the same time. And I, and for some reason, at my very core, it makes me feel like it's dishonest. And it just makes me, it just makes me cross. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's not rational. But there you go. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, it's been out so long that everyone knows how to play it. And the number of backseat drivers would be insane. People going, oh, you have to do it like this. Otherwise you'll fail. Do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. You're doing it wrong. Do it like this. Do it like this. Now, I always get a fair shake of that. And that's fine. Because... I don't do things right. I do things my way. And uh, and that's that's how I prefer to play. Um, but there are some people, the optimum path crowd, for whom that's not good enough. So I will soak up a certain portion of you should be doing it like this. But when it starts to become more than that, it stops being fun for me. And therefore, I stop playing it. So there's absolutely no point, no point at all in uh, in. Uh, in playing uh, oxygen not included because there are very clear paths to success and the art style makes me cross <laughs> there you are ah there it is uh yeah yeah no, no, no look i i put up with backseat drivers because of course you would if you see someone doing something wrongly and you know a better way of doing it you are you, you either have the choice of just sitting on your hands going, oh, why doesn't he just do this? Or they'll put in a comment. And it's human nature to just kind of go, if you would just do this, life would be so much easier. It's killing me to watch you do this over and over again and not get any better. Please do it right. Please. It, you'll just, it'll be so much better. That's fine. It's okay. And we've had a few of those in the chat already today. And it's fine. I ignore most of them. And that's fine too. I let people just vent, just just vent their frustration, um, uh, and then ignore it. <laughs> uh, but uh, but no no trying to uh, trying to avoid the optimum path. I'm not introduced to any of this. No, go away. Unless you come with money, I'm not selling. Yeah, right. Uh, am, am I going to play Frostpunk two? Maybe maybe not. I, I, to be honest. Other than the uh, the style of Frostpunk one, I thought uh, I thought graphically it's staggeringly beautiful to look at. Beyond that, I wasn't really that taken with it. I thought a lot of people made a lot of fuss about it over it just being po-faced. Um, <laughs> again, I'm in a I'm in a minority of one on that front, and I thought, yeah, 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 you're massively successful because you're completely miserable great but as far as how it looked i thought uh, i thought it looked wonderful um uh, very 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 atmospheric it's one of the few games kind of set in the snow where you go this genuinely makes me feel cold uh which is a remarkable achievement but uh, but i'm not in any i'm not in any hurry to play uh, to play a sequel no yeah uh yeah uh, okay yeah 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 yeah, there we are. Good. Uh, I should I should play Demolition Derby. Uh, I've got uh, I've got a bit of Wreckfest. I've got a one-off Wreckfest where I uh, where I pretend to be an Uber driver in uh, in Wreckfest. If you've seen it, you've seen it. If you haven't, you haven't. Didn't really didn't really land the zingers in the way that I'd hoped. I, I sometimes come up with hello, who are you? What's your problem? This is House. I don't think it is though, is it? I wanted to click the ding dong bell. Come here, ding dong bell. No, oh, I'll click it down here. Uh, who's this? Ailsa is a labourer, doesn't have a job, and is accused as a, as a murderer. I love the way that these people get accused as a murderer, but we, we don't know if they're an actual murderer or not. Anyway, we'll assume they are. Get out. There we go. I mean, if the sheriff goes, that one, they kind of go, yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, Colonel Space Programme 2, yep, yeah, probably. Uh, do I like SnowRunner? Not played SnowRunner, but I played Mudrunner. It was a great deal of fun, but I'd only play it with friends. Um, 
I don't. I might record it again. But yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. The, the big problem with backseat driving is by the time the person has written, it's too late. I get backseat driving comments on videos that are three years old. You really should be doing it like this. And they kind of go like, you are way too late for that kind of comment. Way too late. You, That boat has sailed. Uh, not only have I got 50 more episodes of this after that. I went on a transport fee the other day. I'm gonna look, I've got another 50 episodes of this. And uh, judge for yourself whether or not I did it. The travel immersion is here. What do you want? What are you selling? I'm not giving you a grand. I'm trying to save money. I want to buy a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have some magic beans. Maybe that will appeal. It's taking these people flaming ages to get these houses rebuilt, you know. Ages. I know. Yeah, I know. It's bothering me as much as it is you. There you go. Maybe the sheriff is the murderer. Oh. Nice. Uh, apart from about Frostpunk, you always thought it was too constricting. Yeah, that's another thing. The, the freedom, the, the, sorry, the absence of freedom to build where you want to. Uh, I found it just a little bit, uh, rather than outright, uh, um, yeah, there you go. exploring that one through sound effects only. Right, hello, go. Uh, the hospital admitted a patient who was unable to move his limbs. The patient had been in a coma with a high fever for a week, but did not seem to have a life-threatening situation, uh, condition even. Uh, doctors had been studying this case for a long time and were at a loss, having never seen this disease before. Take risks with drugs that may be effective. Use conservative treatment to prevent no, drugs. Dose them. The patient soon regained consciousness, but his body mysteriously shrank a lot and he moved with newfound agility. It's a win. All right. I've, I've basically invented diet pills. Sweet as a nut. Uh, right, one homeless person remains and four wounded people. Uh, maybe someone should have shot the sheriff. Sorry, Toothless, hang on. I'll try and de-censor you. Wait, wait. Oh, this game does not like me tabbing out. Uh, go over to... Yeah, that one. All right. Show. Print. That's it. There we go. Seems barely worth the effort now, but uh, there we are. We've done it anyway. Uh, so we're all in equilibrium. Now then, we are down a few uh, a few citizens now, so I think when the next batch of, spare me, um, uh, interlopers, you mean immigrants, yeah, when the next batch of immigrants turn up, we will welcome them with open arms to try and top our numbers back up again. Yeah. I, I want to get my trade route running, because we're going to need it if, so that I can, you know, trade for stuff. I've got two technology points. All right, do the last bit of your madness with a uh, supply station. How's this going to be any better? Workers will take the selected materials to nearby production. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get that. How's this better than the little one that I've already got? It's functionally powerful. Yes, I mean, don't get me wrong. That is very much selling it to me. But at the same time, I'm just not, I'm just not getting why i need I, you know what? i'm not buying it no i'm not having it no not interested because there was something that i did want which was i wanted the retirement house because that struck me as brilliant uh where does it live nursing home so if you get heating yeah and then the nursing home right it can accom nursing home could accommodate 36 people Right, it's got to be built near a marketplace, it's fine. Um, and uh, senior citizens who are incapable of having children will voluntarily move into it, thereby freeing up houses for younger folk who are still breeders. And you go, oh, that's, that's genius. Uh, right, boiler room. Uh, can, can consume domestic fuel and provide heat for citizens so they don't need to warm themselves. Now, this is also a, a sensible piece of kit, this one. Yeah, right. If I flip that round the other way, you will sit here quite nicely and heat quite a lot of people up. Right about there. That's not a great place for it. It's not, is it? Uh, here? No. I haven't really got any... Oh, I could put it here. Now your coverage is even worse there. Uh, all right. Okay, well, we'll stick it where we... We'll stick it next to the graveyard. Super idea. All right. 
you get that going and then we'll do another one on the larger housing estate which if i had any sense what i'd do is i'd bulldoze these four i might even do that bulldoze these four and then you'll get a hundred percent coverage interesting yeah this is me considering it with my with my consideration face which looks like this okay yeah are we going to do it yeah but i am going to i am going to put up some more housing for them before i do it because i'm not a complete monster um several people have been saying why don't you just build apartments because you can sling a bunch of people into them yeah but i don't want to do that there you go no i'm not giving you a reason i just don't want to do it no that's that's not a thing i want to do and therefore i'm not doing it no they are no i don't have to be rational you you be rational on your time right good um uh, Freeman says give the man a boiler and he'll be warm for a while boil a man alive and he'll be warm the rest of his life uh which is which is entirely true uh i will try and uncensor your uh whatchamacallit see usually i've got a handy dandy moderator or two who are tuning in and going just in case anything happens they'll they'll be doing something else uh knitting or whatever but um but they'll be uh They'll be just running it in the background because this is a very low trouble kind of a show. This one, few, if any, people get uh, get all hot and bothered and need any of the uh, need any of the timings out or any of that kind of behaviour. Yeah, I'm expanding the housing estate. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Get that going. Um, there you are. Right. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of the other channel? Electro Sports. You should watch the football. If you don't like football, watch the football. I, I promise you, you will enjoy it. Or not, as the case may be. But the football is uh, is turning into quite the soap opera. And, uh, and it's going very well. And, we're, and and it's the first day of the playoffs tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Elza. Howdy, Colonel. Hello, Elza. Uh, has herself recovered. Herself is a little better, but she's not recovered. She's still she's still not well. Um and uh, but she is a little better but thank you very much for asking uh, can you upgrade the houses like in banished yes you can once you've uh, once you've got the the doodah uh, but you can also do you can add extra whatnots to make the house better but i don't have any of those things and, and neither do i care right now we're an egalitarian society and people are mostly happy about that those who aren't happy get swept up in volcanoes and the like Or that's the way I'm reading it anyway. Uh, Cloris has replaced Patty as a herdsman. Okay, because Patty died of old age. Well, wow, that's, that's what we call a job for life. Nothing wrong with that. Patty lived to a ripe old age herding llamas or whatever the hell they are. And then, uh, and then you know, keeled over one day and it was brilliant. Right. This flipping egg uh, will support 36 people. I'm going to put it in what I call Tornado Alley. And you go, oh, how dare you? And I'm going, they're already retired. Their usefulness to the town folk has, uh, has largely diminished. And therefore, if they get wiped out by a tornado, you can't say that they didn't lead a rich and fulfilling life and were then put in a very nice housing uh solution at the end of their lives and then i'm not a monster no no definitely not a monster um that's it's how they would have wanted to go out is all at once in a tornado yeah so we slap that in there because it's in range of the how much does this need it needs 120 glass it needs 360 things that i don't make at the moment some cut stone well, all right, look, I'm, I'm plumbing it in. Uh, it's obviously going to take a while to get built, that one. But it'll all be, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, watched, you watched some of Banished and the intro was very different. Ancient. I think Banished was one of the first few series that I covered. Uh, really, 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 really old. Um, but it's great. Uh, the, the number of... Uh, of bits of Dozerverse canon that came out of Banish is quite quite extraordinary. Um, uh, references to beekeeping, that's banished because the tornado took out. I 
I prided myself on my honey making facilities. I had like a dozen beehives. Tornado came into town, wiped out all of it. And that was my primary means of making money. Um, and it was like the tornado just deliberately took out the lot. Uh, nomads as well. Nomads would rock up requesting to be granted citizenry. Uh, and I would resist it as much as possible. And then once in a while I would stop resisting it. Uh, and then it, then we'd all get a plague. Yeah, there you go. Carrie, the boilerman. All right, Carrie, do your thing. Now, the, the reason for this boiler house, if it works out, should mean that all of these houses no longer need any, uh, any domestic fuel. The boiler room will consume it instead and everybody will be thrilled. That's the plan. Um, if it works out, it might be more efficient. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I placed the door on the south side. What are this? Oh, I did. Yeah. I think it might have doors on more than one side, but hey, if I put it in the wrong place, it doesn't really matter. I'll just build a bit more road. There you go. There you are. All right. See? Fixed. Thank you. Uh, worth pointing out, but it changes nothing. Uh, right. Okay. Now, what was the other thing that I unlocked? No, you've used them both. Oh, good. And we're about to get another techno point. Ah, great. Oh, it's all going swimmingly. Um, do I do you get a kickback if, 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 I, if you buy the game? Only if you buy it from Epic. And it, it can be anything. If you buy anything from the Epic Game Store and you use the creator code, there's an animal plague. Say, what? Okay, yeah, yeah, talk to me. Animal plague is coming. It will break out in pasture, causing death of pasture animals. All right. This, this feels like news. This doesn't feel like act now and you could avert disaster no this feels like say goodbye to your critters i don't want to say goodbye to my critters i've i've built up a very badly functioning sausage industry off the back of my critters so i would i would sooner you left that oh hold on here it is it's right here look animal plague bats yeah animal plague in its animal in this structure is suffering from plague herdsmen will slaughter mature animals yeah fine but can I not... How do I just... Oh no, shut it down! Uh, I'm not sure shutting it down has really done anything for us there. Uh, Alright, turn it back on. Go on, herdsman. Waft your flipping herding stick. Do your herding voodoo. And make the animals less poor. Don't just hit them with a hoe. That seems to be a bad... No, that's... Mm. Um, make my buffaloes not die, please. Yeah, just, I mean, it don't, I mean, that just feels like news. It doesn't feel like it's, yeah, there you go. And, uh, incidentally, sucks to be you, but psh, just saying, you're about to lose all your cattle. <sighs> uh, animal plague is a good reason to have a few spaces between your animal farms. Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know Animal Plague was a flipping thing, did I? I know now. Uh, but uh, at the time, no. Smarty McSmart Smart. And I've built them all very neatly. I'm very pleased with the way that my animals are lined up. Or, I, well, I won't be shortly. Unless, of course, it doesn't pass from buffalo to uh, alpaca. In which case, we'll all be good. Yes. Set max animals to zero. Wait till the icon's gone. Start slaughter at nine. No, set slaughter at one. Kill them all. Apart from the last one. That's it. Kill, 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 kill. There we go. Fixed it. That's a good solution. Good solution pro provision there. Pro provision, even. That's a word. Um, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then what are we doing with all of that uh, infected meat? Turning it into sausages. Immigrants are here. <sighs> Well, am I as good as my word? Hello, immigrants. 16 on. Welcome aboard. Yep, come on in. None of them are homeless. Oh, no, wait. None of them are homeless. 16 are now homeless. Well, I tried. I mean, I, mean, I, did, I did what I could. Right, we need 360 building kits. And they have to be made in the forge. I don't currently have the forge. One citizen is thirsty. That citizen should go and get a drink then. 
I can't, I can't do it all for you, people. I just can't. You have to somehow figure it out for yourselves. I was going to knock down these four houses, but with 15 people now homeless, that would feel like a, a churlish thing to do. So I'm just going to build some more houses. Yeah. Look, once the retirement home comes up, we'll have a bit more space. But at the moment, it's not up, so we won't. Yeah. How many more houses are you going to build? Oh, some more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in one of the comments on one of the old regular videos, houses can only be built within the marketplace range. Okay. Well, I can build it here then, guy. Um, uh, it was suggested uh, that I should uh, research the better houses uh, and uh, because they have uh, five so they have support for five people rather than just four. They kind of go rather than just spamming houses. I kind of go so adding one extra person per house. I don't. I, it's not going to help. No, you have to. You've got to solve the problem by carpeting the place in housing. Right. What are you packing? Uh, fish, fruit cans, shoes, mm. gowns, down coats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butter. Oh, yeah, yeah, butter. Yeah. Medicinal oil and lanterns. Yeah. Bring money, okay? Nope, don't want any of that. No, nope, clear off. You filthy scrounger. Right. Uh, good. Um, what's the massive building that I'm sticking next to the town hall? That's the retirement home. It's called a nursing home, but it's a retirement home. I need a forge, which I haven't researched until... Wait for it. Now. Hey. Right. Well, I know where the Forge lives. Forge is going to live down here. Yes. How are you doing there, Tiger? Yeah, you've got some coal, right? And you've got the fat. How's that actually helping this situation over here? Not even slightly. Okay. What else can you make? Go and make some lanterns, would you? Yeah. And in which case, I'll put in a request from, uh, from Johnny Shed here uh, that will go for uh, bottle, B-O-T-T. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, inhaled when I shouldn't have. <coughs> <coughs> you good? I think so. Okay, good. You feel, you sound good. No, thank you. Oh, crikey. Uh, right, 200 of them, please. Yeah. Do it. <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hang on a moment. I know, it's like I never lost my composure. No, it's not. Oh, I definitely didn't lose my composure. Not even slightly. Sorry, I, I, I think I tried breathing out and in at the same time. It was a complicated manoeuvre and it didn't really come off. Uh, but... Uh, <clears throat> it was certainly worth the experimentation. Uh, right, you are currently slurp a bed. I'm almost restored. Am I restored? Yes, right, okay, good. Uh, there we are. Uh, Jardine, is this the last episode of Settlement Survival? Yes, it is, but I might... It's plausible I might do another live stream, uh, picking up from the from the same place. Uh, I've got lots of stuff planned for the next few weeks, um, but uh, uh, I do have to uh, try and pull stuff into into order. Yeah. <sighs> Are we going to weather now? That I've tried to kill myself. No, no, no. I'm fine. It's all good. I just tried. I tried two breathing manoeuvres at the same time, and it was not. It was not meant to be. Uh, other than that, it's all good. Uh, right. Okay. So we've got houses coming up, uh, and uh, I've got plenty of people sitting around. Someone said trading, whatnot, a moment ago. I think that's a very good idea. Uh, let's form up a caravan. What are we going to sell? Very glad you asked. We shall sell. Um, ooh, I don't know. Uh, the same stuff we always sell. Ah, yes, that would be a scheme. Uh, right, let's go for rope. Yeah, which I, I think I'm just making with a plum. Yes. How many, requ 25 requires survival. Take another 
100. Let's be, let's be less generous this time. Uh, soap. I think we should be keeping the soap, but at the same time, I think we can probably spare 50. Okay. Uh, is that on the list? No, no, no. You're, you're, you're still putting the shopping list together. And then linen. Linen. Uh, of which we will sell a further 900. No, 850. 850. Sell. Good. Close that. Yes. It's, it's not the most intuitive interface, this. But what it is, is it works. You've just got to keep your wits about you. Now, what am I going to purchase? Uh, well, we won't be purchasing down jackets because I've got them now. We ought to come back with something handy every time. Let's buy, uh, let's buy 50 candy because, uh, you know, for the kids. Um, and I'll bring back uh, 10 black tea, you know, for the kids. Uh, and uh, we'll bring back some medicinal soap, you know. For everybody else 20 they can share a bar between them uh anything else what about some nice food i bought candy that is nice food you can shut your face uh, now i could bring back i don't think they do them actually but you could do the building no here we go uh building upgrade kits I could bring them back saves having to make them but it's also more expensive than having to make them so i'm not going to we'll purchase that which is going to give me a net gain of a three grand. I will buy the insurance and we will loop it. I'm going to be able to afford to supply this lot for ages. So make it happen. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's going to take ages before that actually manifests correctly. And then uh, it's going to be good. Uh, do I have one builder's hut or multiple? I've only got one, but I've overstaffed it. So I've got four. I've got four builders working in there. Um yeah, I know, I should probably have more than that, but I haven't, so. So. Uh, right, how are you doing? We've produced 40 lanterns. Nice. Uh, let's, the output limit has been reached. Tell you what, pump up the output limit. 200, uh, you're going to need to go a little bit higher than that. 2,000. All right, pump it. Make it happen. Uh, now, I've got a deactivated quarry. Because again, we don't need any more stone, or do we? Let's uh, let's pump that to a thousand. Yeah, let's turn it on. Right, Edwin, Crystal, Steve, and Lauren, and Harry are all down the mine now, mining for all they're worth. And I need fifty lanterns. Uh, improve the environment so that miners and quarrymen could dig deeper, thus improving the work efficiency. Well, I never. Well, I have. Oh, hold on. Event. Peculiar sapling. Okay. A young lumberjack was tending to the trees around the young lumber yard as usual. Mm. Uh, when he found several crooked trees that were not suitable for processing further to become wood. Perhaps they could be used as decorative. Yeah, dig them up. There you go. Another 14 saplings. Magical. Uh, yep. 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 There you go. That's good. Any chance for a Lord of Dwarves revisit? No. No, 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 no. I've done Lord of Dwarves. It was Magnifico. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about buying stuff on Epic when I started dying. Um, if you buy stuff on Epic, use the creator code Colonel Failure, All in capitals, all one word. And I get a minor kickback. It costs you absolutely nothing, but I get a few pence to spend towards my next box of Cocoa Pops, uh, which is a delight. Uh, I don't even like Cocoa Pops, but, you know, the only way I'm going to buy it is using Epic money. So, uh, I'll leave that up to you. I've still got 11 homeless people. What? I've been building houses. Look, there's an entire row of new houses going on here. Moving to some of them. No, you need to figure out how to get your, uh, your building upgrades done. All right. Can I do that in the advanced smithy? Uh, and, you know, building upgrades, building upgrades, building upgrades. No, it's the forge, you nitwit. You, you researched the forge specifically for this event and then got distracted by dying and didn't build it. He has a point. Right, or, yes, forge, yes. Get it flipping built, son. All right, where's the, uh, where's the entry hole? There it is. Do you want it there? Yeah. All right. All right, that's going to take a little while to uh, to happen, but it's going to be good. 
<clears throat> yeah. Could we see some decorations? You know what? Yes. Yeah, you really could. Yeah. Yeah, you could see some decorations. Uh, let's go in. I'm not even being facetious. You don't know. What's command? Oh, that's that. Yeah, okay. It's just uh, I knew what the button was about, but I was going, command? What's a blueprint? A shelter. Um, okay. Citizens can enter shelters to avoid casualties. However, food is not stored in shelters and need to be evacuated after a disaster. No, stuff them. You're on your own. Right, decorations. Uh, what do we need here? That needs firewood and something else. Uh, this needs paper. Uh, you can't have paper. Uh, you need iron and lamps. Right, is that the most tasteful lamp there is, though? I mean, I'll, I'll do decorating, but it better be flipping tasteful. Alchemy table. Yeah, sure, that's useful. That's, that's going to make everyone go nuts. I'll stick that straight outside the church, because they'll get down with that kind of behaviour. Uh, right, there you go. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. There or there? No, oh, there. Put it there. There you go. Uh, we'll also, we'll have a spit roast there as well. Hang on, no, you've got any pigs. Ah, oh, what a shame. We'll have a little bench. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And a maypole. Ah, uh, get fertile people. Now, hold on. I think that is rats dangling from a cartwheel. Pretty much the same thing, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and then we've got, what's this? What are you? The big tent. Does it make people happy? Doubtful. No, I'm not doing it. No. Uh, right. Yeah. And some form of lighting. Okay. That's a flipping big light. That is, that's a very, very... These lights are enormous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it really is. All right, let's just go street lights. There we are. Oh yeah. All right. Well, let's let's line up. Uh, let's street light our uh, our primary streets. Now, what I've tried to do is I've upgraded uh, the streets that are going to be the most highly trafficked uh, to use cobble rather than dirt. Yeah, see, that's, that's your thinking going on right there. Um, so, because uh, obviously you get a movement speed bonus. So I'm also going to give them street lights because I'm that way inclined. Yeah, just as long as that, they go. We'll just do the old town. The new town, they don't want it. They're waiting for it. It's, it's like, for them, it's like electric light bulbs or nothing. And they may be waiting some time for that. But uh, at the same time, I'm going to oblige them. Forge is ready. Hey, right, what can you make? Building kits, yes. Or building kits, hmm. Or gears of war. Uh, or well, uh, what's this one? Toolkit. Okay, well I can make it. I can make all this stuff, but I don't appear to. No, I've not researched that, so I can't do that one. Let's go building kit. And what am I making? I'm making bricks, I think, at the moment. No, I'm making glass. I might be making bricks and glass. Let's use glass <clears throat> and see how we get on. Let's uh, let's rock a bunch of those, uh, and then I need three fifty to build the old uh, uh, the nursing home. So I'll I'll set my limit to five hundred, and I've acquired a new tech point. Iron mine is still not operational. Uh, which one? Uh, let's have a look over here. Yeah, no, that one's fine. That's doing coal anyway. This one's not operational because it's closed. Uh, because it's it's dead. This is a dead mine, Camille. That one. This one, that's working just fine. Working just dandy, this one. Yep. Yeah. And and it too, at some point, will, uh, will run out of capacity until such a time as I research the technology to make miners mine, 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 and minerly. Look at the tree farm. Oh, I like it. You know what else, though? Uh, what? I think you can put... Um, no, you can't. Forget I spoke. I thought you could use fertilizer. You can't. Sad face. I know. Yeah, all right. Okay. This is a. This is way more efficient than, uh, than sending people out of town to do it. So uh, I should probably do some more of that, but not right now. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. No, no. There is an iron mine that isn't doing anything, but that's because it's broken. Yeah. Uh, you, I might want a second kiln so I can make bricks and glass at the same time. I might. 
Um, but I've got six labourers available, and that's about my limit for... I don't want to go any lower than that in case I need people all of a sudden or I'm making a new industry or something like that. I'm more than happy to just micromanage it and toggle between the two once in a while. Uh, speaking of which, let's switch over from sand to clay for a little while because I have used some clay lately. Uh, we might be full up on resource there as well, but hey, we'll give it a go. Yeah, you need a bottle. I was pretty sure I had plenty of bottles. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at the street lighting when it next turns nighttime. Uh, it's over here. Yeah, kiln factory, you're currently making uh, glass. Knock out a few more bottles, would you? There you go. I was fairly certain I'd made enough of those, but yeah, you never know. Um, tree farm can use fertilizer. It has a yes-no toggle for fertilizer. Does it? Did I miss that? Uh, there. All right. Use fertilizers, yes. Ah, good. Okay, cool. Then all is well here. Uh, I don't know why I'm just not producing much meat. Now, obviously... Uh, we had the, the great bat-based buffalo um, bonanza not so long ago. That has now recovered, but we won't be slaughtering anything else there for a little while because I've only got three of them left. Um, but at the same time, I've got five of these establishments and we, we seem to be producing precious little cattle. Precious little. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stick up, I'm gonna set up another one. Give me another pasture. Yeah. Because... It's going to be very difficult for me to, you know, claim any kind of sausage-based victory if I'm not producing enough cattle to actually sausage. You know? Yeah, I think you do know. I was going to build it there so that I could get a road down the middle, but I've changed my mind because it wasn't making it, it wasn't making it big enough. How about that? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, you're not going to get much in there. I'll get some and that'll be enough for me. You could probably get some more in here as well. What's this seven of eight business? Dunno. Okay. What is this seven of eight business? Again, that's the number of workers. Of course, I've got 13,000 food and my caravan's returned with three grand. Right. Let's talk shipping. Let's talk ordering. Okay. Right. Common. You're common. Uh, food. No. No, wait, wait, wait. Seeds. Okay, potatoes and broccoli and corn. Chili. Chili. I don't think you can make anything out of chili other than chiliing the stuff you've already got. Uh, yeah, but look at all of this good stuff. Yes. All right, tree seeds, we've got that. Peaches, got them too. Herbs, got those as well. Cocoa, we don't have. <sighs> Interesting. We could get. How much, would, how much are you selling with tea? 20,000. Say what? All right, okay, maybe not then. All right, something a little bit less... Uh, uh, what about... Uh, cabbage? No, what about wheat? 12,000. How about you clear off? Hello, ship. What are you selling? Tell me you got some seeds. You got blueprints for a, a big horn. Uh, a giant whatnot. What's that? Skull of a giant beast. Adult school br blueprint. Adult school. Okay. Yes. They're two grand a pop. Now, I can afford that. <coughs> and I just might. Oh, we've got another murderer on the loose. Um, hmm. Yeah. I guess we're going to be waiting for the trading chap to turn up with something that I actually want. I don't want any of this. You sure? Oh no, what's this? Domestic fuel and that said handbags. Yeah. I don't need handbags. Handbags is not a thing that I require at the moment. No. Clear off. You worthless. Come out with some seeds and I am not paying 20 grand for you to rock up with a flipping tea leaf. I go, there you go. Yeah. Oh, hello. Crikey. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Skip. I, d I was distracted. Ah, uh, dear. Yeah. No, no, how the times have changed now that we're getting uh, all manner of excitable, uh, salacious uh, advertising submitted by a bot. Yeah, it's terribly exciting. 
Yeah. Okay, fuel reserves are low. What? You say they're low, we're out. You know when a good time to be to warn me of that would have been is a little earlier. Warning me now is just like, oh, by the way, and we're out of clothes. What has happened? I poked around with Felony Lad for three minutes and now we're out of clothes again. I'm very disappointed in all of you. Right, where's this murderer? Obviously been murdering someone important. Ford, the labourer. Get him gone. It's not like happiness just dropped off a cliff either. No, 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 no. No, no, this won't do. No, I'm dissatisfied at this uh, at this progress. Uh, right, we're going to need a, a few more houses still. Yep. Right, okay. Now, I'm still, I'm still hoping, or I'm still expecting, let's put it that way, uh, that once the nursing home is complete, it might actually be complete. It's not. Uh, once the nursing home is complete, it will alleviate a few, if not several, of our, uh, of our, our housing woes, since it will account for 36 people in one hit. Yeah. Is this the forager? Hello, I'm foraging. Yeah. Yeah, I've got. I got some I got some news for you, Forager. Hello, I am the Forager. You're fired. Alright, stop foraging. You haven't come up with a new seed in ever. So uh, I'm sorry, but your foraging days is over. Right. Yes. Yeah, see, you've, you've got to tell people, you've got to let them know who's in charge. Otherwise, they kind of go, oh, we'll just keep bringing them an occasional onion, and they seem to be okay with that. You need another marketplace. <sighs> okay. Oh, I've got some space over here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use every square inch of land for housing. And uh, people will love me for it. Right. Okay. Yep. 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 Stick it in there. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Another six in there. I've only got seven homeless people. It's going to work out just fine. Uh, I think you should be able to have a guillotine and kill the murderers. Or an axe. That's, uh, that's a bit strong. Uh, Danny thinks I should have more graveyards. I don't know if those two statements are linked or not, but uh, there we go. Town is developing what? Well, it's more immigrants. I've got no space for you at the moment, lads. Sorry. Uh, no. And I've clicked on the wrong building, but I'm going to see if I can upgrade this. Yeah, do it. There we go. I've told the, uh, I've, I've told the tailor to get upgraded. Yeah. Uh, do you, you want to? No, you're already upgraded. Uh, okay. Timmy Taylor getting his upgrade on. Spanking. Uh, yeah, it's all good. It's, uh, it's all good. How's the fluids? Fluids are good. We've got so much food. Yeah, we've got 10,000 rice. Feels like a lot. Yeah, let's take 5,000 rice down here. Because then, I mean, at least then, we can trade it for anything. Yeah, rice. Okay. Amount required for survival, 500. Yeah. Amount required for trade, 5,000. There you go. Yep. <clears throat> the other benefit there, of course, is that I can always release it back into the wild, uh, should the need be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's good. Uh, is this the same employment problem as Soviet Republic? Nope. No, because in this, I actually appoint who works where. In Soviet Republic, people go and work somewhere if they can be bothered. Um, uh, Sheriff's van a murderer. Hello, it's Chloe, who is a minor. And is banished. Be gone. No idea if she was innocent, but uh, frankly, I don't care. Now I'm out 58 clothes. When I pressed the button on upgrading you, did you stop producing? Yes. Oh, why did you listen to the chat? I should have just built another tailor. I'm going to build another tailor. Uh, yes. I mean, it's not like tailoring. No, no, you've got an advanced tailor here. I didn't need another advanced tailor. Yeah. Amy, produce a bit faster, would you? I'll tell you what, I'll bring you in some assistance. There you go. All right, Jason, Amy, make coats. Go, 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 go. All right, if you want more seeds, then you've got to build up your rep by trading with Carlos instead of Mao. Okay, thanks, Bob. All right. No, no, I'll, I'll wait for the merchant ship. I like the surprise of whatever the merchant ship rocks up with. Otherwise, I will take obvious staples first, whereas uh, the merchant ship, who did turn up with cattle at one point, but has never done so since, 
Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'll just wait for the merchants. Let's get another cemetery on the go. Out here by the mine. It feels like a good place for it. All right, let's make this big enough to, to cope with everybody who's likely to die in the next forever. All right, let's try 20 by 20. Yep, that's chuff and enormous. Hey, right, good. Okay, my last three murderers were miners. Something about the dark. When you spend time in the dark, you embrace it. Uh, I also need another school because I'm not educating all the children who are currently coming, uh, coming through the cycle. 36, 37 people are cold. 86 people don't have clothes. Yeah, okay. Are you done yet? No, but I had all the useful materials. What exactly is taking you so long? Can I cancel this? Yeah, all right, we'll cancel it then. Pronto. Uh, go, go. Eddie, Lee, get to work. Right. Well, that was, that was an exciting experiment, but ultimately I think we'll just leave that alone. You can turn Agave into... Uh, if, I, if I talk to Carlos, I can get Agave clothes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could. I mean, I'll face it. I mean, they might be a little bit prickly. Yes, they might. I've got leather. Yes. Are you going to do anything else? Or are you just going to look at this screen? No, I think we'll we'll, we'll just let the alpaca wool source out. One citizen is starving. Tell him to go for a swim in the rice uh, storage bin. There's lots in there. He can have as much as he likes. I've got so much rice, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I do know what to do with it. I'm going to sell it. Um, but, I mean, that's by the by. There's just so many... Animal pen needs some animals assigning. Thank you. Uh, right, what do we want? We're using quite a lot of alpaca wool. Thank you. Get to alpaca in. Uh, and then I need to move some alpacas. Hello there. Yeah, transfer to pasture number six, please. Yes, number to transfer, 14. No, let's move two to pasture number six, please. There we go. Did that do it? There are still 14 here. But there's... Look, there's there's one. Presumably the other one's around here somewhere. That, um, unless he died in transit. No, no, there are two in here, apparently. Right, Leander, Eric, make more alpacas. Rub them together until a new one pops out. Okay, yeah. All right, we are uh, we are alpaca deluxe. Uh, do I have any canaries for the mines? No. Um, good. Right. And then, don't know. Ah, oh, good. Good. As long as you don't know, that's the important thing. What can you What can you handle? Uh, an expansion. Remodel the warehouse with bricks to consolidate it, thus accommodating more items. For a hundred bricks. All right. Okay. I'm just pushing buttons to see what they mean. We're low on fuel. How are we low on fuel? I'm spending so much effort on fuel. Why is this taking so long? Because you're making building kits. Right? What's your major hold-up? I make a hundred a year, Gov, no more. Right, Donald, I'm recruiting you an apprentice. Zelda. Donald Zelda. The tag team, to end all tag teams, are going to be tagging things. And stuff. Start cloning the alpacas. Oh. Uh, what happened to the turkey? I haven't done anything with the turkey yet. I could start breeding the turkey. The problem is, I then need a whole great flipping turkey production line system set up, get up business. Uh, and I can think of no compelling reason not to do it. Except that I'm not, I'm not that way inclined at the moment, but I may change my mind. Right, ores, we have sand, we have clay. Good. Because con mats, we have stone, we have cut stone, we've got some glass, we've got bricks. Eight whole building kits. <sighs> yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. On the raw materials, we've got timber, we've got planks. Yeah. On the fuel, we got nothing. Why? Who's slacking? 
Which one of you people are slacking, and who should I hurt? You give them lanterns. Yeah, give them lanterns. All right, and... No, 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 no. You've done that one. Right. Now click this one, just to be on the safe side. Um, remodel kits improve the strength of the structure. That's less interesting to me somehow. But lanterning up is certainly something that's worthwhile. Feathers for bedding. Turkeys would make more food variety. It's still bad food, though. That's the thing. It's that until we get it cooked, it's still fundamentally bad food. That, look at this. We've got cheeky alpacas just kicking it around outside. Are they, are they even alpacas or are they sheep? Hang on. Look at the models. They're packers. The, the heads are too... The necks are too long to be sheep. Yeah, I know, but I was checking. Sometimes, you know, animation isn't doesn't go exactly to plan. I've got 21 spare people. Fine. I'm, you know what? I'm with you lot. I'm going for, uh, I'm going to go for a, for a turkey uh, battery. Yeah. How big can I make it? Because I'm going to make it enormous. 20 by 20. Yeah. There you go. Get rolling. Wimpy. Uh, for the four Quirpians. Quirpians. I like it. I would have gone Quirpians, maybe. But I can't, I can't dispute Quirpians there. Thank you very much, uh, Wimpy. Right, let's uh, let's slap in a bit of road here, and then I am going to go and uh, and check in on herself, and uh, and take a moment to consider things about life. While you do the same, yes, I am going to leave the game rolling, but not at max speed. Um, we'll we'll see how that pans out, won't we? Uh, what do you want to look at? Well, wait, I'll tell you what. We'll look at people crossing the bridge. Ah, oh. yes. There you go. People crossing the bridge at a slightly slower pace. There you go. Slightly slower. There you go. You've got a lady on a fishing boat there. You've got the water wheel. If you witness a murder, let me know. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't you go changing. Do go get yourselves a fresh beverage. Hmm. This button.
What is all this dancing? These people are all hopping up and down like some kind of crazy people. Okay, well, let's do the weather. Um, I'll tell you something else. I'm not, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'll leave it running. No, no, no. let's up a tempo once. There you go. Uh, and uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that. Yeah, sorry I was a little longer than usual there. I just needed to, uh, needed to help herself out with a couple of bits. Uh, it's all good. Um, yeah, no, there was, I've, I've no idea if there's any disasters pending. We'll find out, but uh, not, not just yet. Oh, there we go. You naughty person. Naughty person. You can be uh, just uh, oh, remove. There you go. Yeah, no idea. That wasn't it. See, Skip knows the buttons better than I do. Let's do that one. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, and then this one. Done. Right, that's dealt with that one. Oh, and again. No, oh, okay. Put the hide user. There they are. Yes. There you are. Now you're, you should be hidden. There it is. Right, good. I'm great at moderating. Um, yeah, no, that's my, that's very much my thing. Go back to the bridge. Go back to the bridge. Right. Weather time, people. Uh, down in Kent this evening, uh, it's generally cloudy with patchy light rain and drizzle, seven degrees. Uh, makes a nice change from your normal Edinburgh, though, says Pyman. Uh, Danny said it's 74 Fahrenheit, partly cloudy in St. Louis. It's March Madness. Pick your season weather month. Uh, weather mouth. Don't really, don't really understand. Uh, the, Chris says it's zero degrees. Uh, and other crafts in Port McMurray, Bluefield, Virginia. It's currently 30, uh, 73 Fahrenheit, which is 22 degrees. Very nice, Yankees. Uh, three degrees clear skies in mid Cornwall. Uh, four centigrade and cloudy in Leatherhead. Uh, uh, Zotomir, it's two centigrade and clear skies. Sunny and gorgeous, minus three up in Nodak. Uh, Kevin, who has been a man for 21 months in Bridge End of South Wales, clear skies, uh, but it's chuffing, freezing, and no penguins. Uh, Divach in Holland, uh, cold with a northern wind around freezing and dark. Uh, in Lieda in Spain, it's 11 degrees. Uh, in Game Overville, it's 10 Australian dollars. Yorkshire Fazer says 6 centigrade, cloudy, windy, and flipping cold on the Yorkshire coast. Uh, 4 centigrade, moderate breeze, and wet in Newark. And it's all disappeared. Right, hang on. I'll have to, I'll have to activate manual attention. And of course, that makes the game scroll all over the flipping place. Um, we'll make it work, kids. We'll make it work. Uh, game over. It's overcast. Currently 17 degrees centigrade, heading for a top of 24. There was an earthquake an hour ago. Steady on. Uh, uh, Barack in uh, Philadelphia. It's 32 Fahrenheit. Uh, cloudy with a chance of flurries. Uh, four degrees, mostly cloudy, with light drizzle here in Norwich. Uh, in uh, CDA, Coeur d'Alene. Uh, you, you write CDA, Michael, right? And then immediately after that, you put it in brackets. Just don't bother with the abbreviation. Just put Coeur d'Alene in there in the first place and uh, save, save yourself some typing. In Idaho, it's partly cloudy with a high of 48 Fahrenheit. Uh, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Omaha, Nebraska, it's 38 Fahrenheit, 3 degrees centigrade, dreary, dismal day. Thank you, Eileen. Uh, Swinney in southeast London was moist today. Uh, a beautifully warm day here in northwest Chicago. Uh, currently partly cloudy in 68. Was able to get outside and enjoy a little today. A little what was not declared by Coda B. Uh, it's 24 centigrade, cloudy in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, in the USA. Bristol, seven degrees and slightly raining. Plymouth, it is what it is, isn't it so? Uh, in northern Indiana, in USA, it is uh, 71. Sunny, very unseasonable. Yeah, uh, it's uh, zero degrees, uh, centigrade that is, cloudy and not dark in Ottawa. Nottingham, light rain, four degrees centigrade. Uh, has been a lovely day in Newport. Arguably, the sun was too bright says uh, Ossian Townsend Jones. Um, uh, in Western Texas, it's 84 Fahrenheit, sunny and very dry. It's a very nice day by the sounds of it. Uh, it's minus one centigrade in Ottawa, says T. Willie, arguing with his fellow Ottawan. Uh, there will be fisticuffs in Ottawa regarding the reporting of the weather. And I've lost it again. i have crying out. Just, would you please just keep, just, just, oi, just, 
do me a favor that's me tabbing uh, to try and get back over to the chat window if i grab the chat window and put it over here that will stop scrolling there you go i've got control over the situation now right okay i'm making it happen and we've got another chat bot in the house flipping chat bots clear off uh right where where was I? when we were here i did ottawa yes good crack out it's cold, pretty cold, pretty clear. Occasional shouting and swearing in front of the nearby Russian consulate. Thank you, Camille. Uh, Matt has been a member for four months, and the weather in Maidenhead is four degrees. Light rain for the next hour. Highs of eight, lows of three. Super duper. Davy Bones says, it's five degrees centigrade and raining uh, in Hastings in East Sussex. Uh, Annalise says, it's currently 27 centigrade with a low of 18 centigrade and partly cloudy here in Pflugerville in Texas. Uh, overcast and a chance of a shower in Hewitt, South Australia. Where has summer gone? Says Ski Gibbo. Well, you're heading towards autumn now, Ski. Um, uh, Megan says uh, it's in Leicester. It's seven centigrade, uh, but it is very windy. Yes. Uh, one centigrade in Bucharest. Mostly clear. 20 centigrade in Christchurch, New Zealand with no tornado. Good. That's a good sign. Uh, Borg, in the Arctic Circle in Norway, it is oh, plus one Celsius with 50 centimetres of snow. Uh, East Kent, it's cloudy with no tornadoes. Good, good to see that the tornadoes are leaving you alone. Uh, it's 46 Fahrenheit in New York. Uh, it's overcast, gloomy. It's like hell on earth. I think you're exaggerating there, Mr. Dragon. Um, Mux Dragon, there you go. Indeterminate Dragon. Uh, Chris in Plymouth, Plymouth in Devonshire, uh, the finest of all the shires, debatable. Uh, a delightfully sunny evening over Dartmoor. It's four centigrade, so expecting frost in the morning. Uh, three centigrade in High Wycombe. Uh, in a change from other weekends in Kildare, it's zero degrees centigrade and clear. Tomorrow, a high of nine. Ivan says in Ketinje, 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 Ketinje. It's zero degrees and sawing. I don't know where that is. Where are you, Ivan? Uh, it's worth knowing. Uh, new key. It's 43 Fahrenheit, clear, light winds. Good. It's a lovely uh, 37 Fahrenheit, three degrees in Nashua in New Hampshire. And cloudy. It's three degrees in Venice. Uh, the Hague. It's uh, clear skies, three degrees centigrade, little wind. It was a beautiful winter's day here today. Splendid. Truly Corosho. Yeah, I'm flipping egg. Uh, it's cold. Dark, dry in Leeds. Not necessarily in that order. In Linlithgow, it's two centigrade, partially cloudy. Uh, looks nice-ish out the window. Matt says it's flipping chilly, windy and wet in Coventry. It's 32 Fahrenheit in Anchorage. And uh, that would be Alaska then. Uh, with 12 inches of snow due. It's windy, mostly cloudy, and minus two centigrade in Fargo, North Dakota. It's four degrees centigrade clear in southern Finland. Uh, sick weather, 67 Fahrenheit and sunny in New Mexico. Sadly, sick people too. And uh, my nephews are plague monkeys, says Yorkie and the Chihuahua. Okay. Uh, I, I know all about plague monkeys. Um, uh, TC Boo says, a flipping webcam people clear off. No one's interested. No one cares. Go away. Go and harass someone else. Uh, you're not interesting and nobody thinks you're cool. Uh, uh, where was I? Plague monkeys. Yeah, TC Booth says currently three miles per hour with a high of one degree centigrade tomorrow uh, on the Isle of Butte. Uh, 63 Fahrenheit with a bit of rain in Algonquin, Illinois. Algonquin. Algonquin. No, it'll be Algonquin. Algonquin. There you go. Illinois, uh, average, uh, above average temperatures here in northern Indiana, 22 centigrade, 71 Fahrenheit, mostly sunny. Uh, moderate winds, rain later. Captain Blick says it's say, 6 centigrade south of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, it is, is it just so, Bjorn, you're, you're, you're off topic, Bjorn. Uh, Lurchus, in South Florida, it's 81 Fahrenheit and windy. Good. Uh, 55 Fahrenheit, mostly sunny in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Um, 5 degrees and drizzly rain here near Stonehenge. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Gorgeous sunny and cold day was had in Mid-Argyle. 
There we go. German bike, north or north. I, I'm not doing a shipping forecast. Uh, turn on sub only chat. I might do. Uh, but that's that's a lot of buttons and I need to figure out where they are. Um, yeah, yes. Is it better than banished? Would, off, I, I'm finishing the weather. Uh, it's sunny, 28 centigrade and windy in Miami. E Evansville, Indiana, it is 72 Fahrenheit and sunny. Uh, Northampton is cold and rain and windy. The terrible triumvirate. And next, uh, it's minus 58 degrees centigrade and snow flows passing clouds, occasional penguins at the South Pole. GPS, OMG, you're only allowed to report the weather from where you are. Come on, play the game, you know that. Uh, Ivan's in Montenegro. Thank you, Ivan. Good, good. Uh, it's six centigrade and Scarborough and it, uh, in, in Scarborough and damp. Uh, stranger with no hurricanes. Uh, 40 Fahrenheit and, raisy, and, and rainy in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Uh, it is... Wait for it, 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 wait for it. It's 60 Fahrenheit and calm in Redwood City, California. It's 5 degrees uh, here in Denmark. Uh, old lady is 38 degrees, but I'm too damn old for that this late. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Lagzilla. And there you go. That'll be it. That's it. We're done here. Right. Good. That once the chat starts overwhelming the weather reports, it all gets a bit complicated. And we've got a nice. No, that's the wrong button. Um, and we've got a ship in the port. Close that back down. Get back over here. Seize control of the situation, man. Come on. Pause it up. Hit F11. Let's get to work. Chocolates. 21 quid. I might do that. Well, I want to palm off some rice on them anyway. So uh, that seems like a thing that's worth doing. Have you got anything else I might want? Bandages. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, let's part with 5,000 rice. Yes, that's two Gs. Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, let's take uh, 250 bandages. Right. That would seem to do the job. That's the only gesture I have for you. Um, yeah, it'll do. Come back with something more useful. Anyway, here you go. Have some money. All right, go away. Good. All right, that went swimmingly. <sighs> there we go. Good. Gun says it, it's two degrees with slight clouds in Ballyclare in Northern Ireland. I'm I'm treating that as factual. Uh, right. Okay. Let's uh, let's crack the tempo back up to excitable. And, uh, and see where we go. Now, I should probably not restock this with 5,000 rice. I should probably not, but I'm probably... No, yeah, I, I definitely shouldn't. Okay, all right, well, how do you how do you adjust that then? Well, I want to go over here. No, no, you want to go to here. Ah, there you go. Right, and then swap it out for uh, 1,000 rice. That seem, That, to me, says a little more sustainable. Yeah. My caravan's come back to town. I've now got seven and a half grand. As things stand, I probably will end up paying an extortionate amount for uh, for a, a, a novelty seed. Right, we've got another murderer. No, we don't. No, they've either died or escaped justice. Which was it, though? Hmm? Uh, Joliet's happiness has decreased due to family conflict and unfriendly neighbourhoods. Why should I care about Joliet in particular? Uh, it's not that I am not caring about Joliet, but why, why, sh why are we singling her out? Is she important in some fashion? This is the kind of thing you should possibly be telling me. You stop making planks, start making fuel. There we are. That told them. Yeah, they've been told. What are you doing? I'm a reservoir. Well, keep it up then. Uh, and you? I'm fishing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. And you? I'm making clay. All right, okay. Your output limits reach. Switch over to sand for a bit. There you go. And you? Textiles. How many textiles, though? Some. Okay, some is a good number. Perhaps you should make some more. I can't have any more I can't have any more workers on that one, unfortunately. You're another reservoir. Oh, I'm not snowing, so I can't send a cursor. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Water. Production limit. That's what we call that. A million. Yes. Seems like plenty. Um, good. Right. Uh, can I afford this? Uh, can you afford the seeds? I thought they were 2,800. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 
They are if the ship if the ship brings them in, I can afford all kinds of stuff. If I order it though, the uh, the prices get a little bit daft. So a potato seed is ten grand. Yeah, you know that's a lot. That's a lot, ten grand. That's a lot more than I'm prepared to pay. Uh, broccoli seeds I've got, but even if I wanted to if I wanted to buy one, they charge me eight thousand for something I already have. Corn is fifteen. Chili is eight. Pumpkins are eight. Wheat is twelve. Yeah. Okay. What about critters? Speak to me of animals. Now, I don't necessarily want to broaden my animally horizon, uh, but I could be tempted in that direction. Chickens, 22 grand to you, Gov. What about ducks? 22 and a half grand. It was 22 and a half grand either way. Pigs, 22 and a half grand. Horses? Ah, oh, 45,000. Oh, I see. Donkeys, 45,000. Ship. Twenty-two and a half grand. Now, with the amount of money I'm making from my routine trades, you know, this is something that I could potentially get my hands on before too long. Um, but, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll work it out. Uh, Carbos has flung 50 of the Norwegian crowns into the bucket. I'm off to drive some drunken people. Someone's got to do it. Enjoy your evening. Drive safe. And, uh, and remember, it's not their fault they're idiots. There you go. That's the thing with drunken people. They don't realise how idiotic they are. Um, right. Okay. Well, the turkey farm cometh uh, soon enough. Uh, how are we looking on technology? I've got two techno points. Let's spend them on something. The tea shop. What does that do? Can process coffee. I haven't got it. Cocoa. Nope. Or tea. Yeah. Into beverages for trading. Then it is completely redundant and uh, probably need fermenting. The winery can brew a greater variety. I've got that. Oh, I have now. Okay, I bought fermenting, everybody. Oh, and a bathhouse to make people happier and, and things. You want to? No, not really. Okay, go to education then. All right. I think it's going to have to be paper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. paper needed agricultural. We're going to have to grow reeds and we're going to have to make paper. Fine, fine, fine. I will do. Agriculture, reeds, gimme activate right the reed field and what was the other thing you just bought oh uh, fermenting i can make wine all right wine and reeds your next station stop uh right it's just flipping resources reeds yeah flip it yeah grip it and plop it yep there you go that's actually a pretty decent place for it they are get it on okay and then no, and then. No, no, no. And then. Right. The winery. Chances are I'll place this and then go, oh, I can't, I can't make anything. Um, unless Agave uh, is capable of producing uh, a smidge of the old vino. What, a bit of Agave uh, Chateau, Chateau Quirp? Yeah, a bit of Chateau Quirp would go down quite nicely, I think. All right, well, I'll try it out, see where it gets us. <clears throat> New livestock acquired. What? Really? When? What? What? Did I? Did I what? What? Did I? What up? What is it? What? Is it? What, is it? what? Let's have a look. I can't yet. Oh, no. Yeah, I can now. Okay. I've got goose. Geese. Gooses. But not turkeys. Huh. Okay. Well, I've got goose. That'll do. Uh, gives me feathers and goose meat. Done deal. I can have a max capacity of 67. Seems like quite a few, doesn't it? It does seem like quite a few, yes. All right, good. Yeah, get to work. Goose it. Goose it multiple times. Uh, is there anything I can give you that will help? Remodeling materials. Nah, stuff that. There you go. <coughs> okay, all right. Uh, it popped up while I was menuing. Thank you, Garrison San. Uh, we are goosed. Goosing has occurred. Uh, we goose, therefore we are, and so forth. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, who's uh, who's bothered at the moment? You're bothered. Uh, you've got... We've got 200 glass bottles in stock. Well, that's too many glass bottles. Let's make some bricks. Okay. Yep. What about you? Uh, you are... We've got 200 rough clothes in stock. You know, we probably need more. No, we don't. No, no, no. 200 rough clothes is plenty. 
we're topped up on clothing. This is a good thing. Now, our, our population's actually up to about 270. Um, so that's, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's the hunters hunting. Yeah. And there's the foresters foresting. Yeah. I'll sack them at some point. And you are the boiler room boilering. Ah, very good. Yes. Okay. I built something else. There's the graveyard gravering. Uh, we can have up to 162 people in that one. That's nice. This one can only store 40 and it's full. Okay. You need glass. All right, hang on. Let's uh, let's switch. Where are you? This one. Switch you over on the glass. There you go. Gonna go. Well, make your mind up, Chief. I got. I am making my mind up. I'm responding in the moment to uh, to the needs as they arise. Uh, Helena, you can be joined by Vincent in the sand pit. Congrats. Uh, and we are producing reeds. Yes. Okay. Autumn has arrived and it's time for harvest. How many reeds are we storing? Up to a million. Seems like a lot, but okay, I'll allow it. What's the goose count? Goose count now, one. Well, make, make the goose more. Make more goose. Shake it until another goose happens. Ah, uh, this is going to be producing dried animal dung like there's no tomorrow. And I should be turning, in fact, I think I probably am, uh, you are turning timber into domestic fuel. You are... You're turning agave and water into spirits. Okay, and you... I want you doing that with, with animal dung, please. There you go. Save a bit of, the, save a bit of wood. Okie dokie. Flying banana tree has been a member for 40 months. Uh, thank you very much. You're a delight. And so say everybody who knows you. And those who don't know you... Assume you're a delight just by looking at your magnificent visage. Thank you very much. Uh, that's one creepy graveyard noise. I'll press it again. That's all the noises it's prepared to make, but it's a good one. Um, yeah. I know, most set. Hold on. Why have we got a massive medicine shortage? Does someone want to tip me off about that before we run out? It says we're in the green as well. It says we're producing enough. All evidence is to the contrary. Jerome, what's your problem, Jerome? Um, I don't know what you. I don't know what you mean. This plant doesn't grow in this season. I don't care whether it grows in this season. Jerome's, Jerome's ruined it for everybody. We haven't got any. We haven't got any herbs. Jerome, this is on you, son. Nursery. There we go. Spin it around. Yeah. Because Jerome's a disaster area. You do make, you make herbs. Right, yeah. Good. Right, okay. Nursery. Have another one. Yeah. Park it right next to Jerome. And then just, you know, eyeball him the whole time and go, flipping Jerome. Just. Oh, Jerome. Oh, come on. Just. Just. Gah. See, that's, I mean, you've got to pour some scorn on him. I might send him down a mine. It's no more than he deserves. Yes. Uh, let the goose loose. No, I really, I really would rather not. Uh, goose check. Two. There we go. Our goose has produced itself a friend. Or, well, I mean, you call it a friend. It's another goose. Yeah. Meanwhile, we are at our max limit of 500 rope. Eric has done a sound job there, getting us all ropey uh, in no time flat. This is a good thing. All right, and the build is going on on the herb workshop, which somehow we've magicked up another 16 from somewhere. Now 20. I imagine that's the gatherers all going like, oh, we've been living a peaceful life, and now I pass on to you. The herbs, what I have captured in my basket. you got to go, well, thank you very much. That's uh, jolly decent of you. Uh, the sheriff has found one of the murderers. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yes, it's Alice, the repairman. It's Alice, that Alice, the kicked out of town. There we go. I think we're being very generous just kicking them out of town. I think we, we've got enough rope. We could dangle them in the water for a bit. 
just for I mean for no good reason at all. I mean just it feels like a, a suitable punishment. Just dangle them in the water until they've thoroughly had enough. Uh, herbs, please. Thank you. Good. Get to work. All right. All right. Yeah, Jerome. Yeah, see Brenda. Brenda's going to out herb you like you wouldn't believe. It's going to be like herb fest, and Brenda will be like, "I got this. Ah, I'm out of. I'm out of labourers." Oh no, I hate being out of labourers. Well, there's nothing you can do. The travelling merchant is here. Pay him a grand for something random. Go on him. Fruit cans. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's not. It just. It's just not that thrilling. Uh, I mean, if they were to rock up and kind of go, oh, here you go, here's some seeds for chilies. And you've got to go, oh, brilliant, thanks. That was worth a grand. Yes, especially since they usually go for 8,000. Uh, yeah, okay, all right, fine. All right, I've got six Gs in now. Uh, I, I think I will save up 12,000 and, and spend it on something futile. Uh, but we'll we'll just wait and see. Meanwhile, the old folks' home, still building it. We go over to the forge and we say, will you play? What do you mean you've only made 20? How long does it take you to make the... There's two of them in here. And they're both just lollygagging. Uh, put, in a, put in a distribution order for planks. Okay. Plank. You are a plank. Yes. Uh, I want 50 local. Thank you. Right. What else do we need here? Uh, you steal, that's made local. Glass, okay, I think we've already got that on order. Bottles we have, all right, okay, glass, please. Glass, how much? Glass, yes, 50, please. There's only 25 in the entire town. I want 50 of it, thank you. Good, we better up the tempo on the old glass smithing then. Do you smith glass? I think it's more of a melty kind of a process. Well, regardless, do it more and robustly. Uh, glass. Last year we made 100. Bricks we made 30. Mm, okay, we need another kiln factory. I was... It was suggested. I poo-pooed it. I now I now take back my poo-pooage. Uh, right. What are we looking for? Uh, I don't know. Treasure? No. Or Did you build a winery? If I did, I'd put it up here, surely. What are you? Boiler room? No. Did you build a winery? Surely it would be... A no, it's there. Here, it's, it's here, look. Uh, the brewer! Right. What can you make? You can make agave and water to make spirits. Potatoes and water make spirits. Wheat and water make beer. Oats and water make beer. I do oats. What about fancy drinks? Grapes? No. Herbs. Spirits. We can make medicinal liquor. Mmm. I think you'll find it's going to be all about the beer. Yes. All right, Gina, get brewing. Ah, that's a, that's the stuff. We may need to we may need to make a few more oats, but uh, that can be that can be arranged. Um, yeah. What were we doing? More glass. Another glass worker. Oh crumbs. Yeah, I know. You've got to find the thing that makes it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's what? what yeah, it's a chopping. I thought it said chipping house. No, wait. It's a what now? Uh, Adamant Smithy, Masonry Workshop, Smelter, what are you? Kiln Factory. Doesn't really, doesn't really sell what you do though, does it? But hey, we'll, we'll give you a neighbour, because uh, good neighbours become good friends. Uh, right, good, yes, good, yeah. Uh, yeah, water supply is getting low. Oh, flaming egg, it is. I think it will bounce back. But I don't know how it gets so low in the first place. I'll be honest. I don't I don't understand how it could get so low in the first place. It's not like we've got massively more people. We've got a lot of sick people going on. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, look, I'll uh, I'll toggle on the big well. Big well toggles. And that's us out of laborers again for a little while. Yeah. You are why you've got the aggro there chopping house. I have not got enough dried animal dung. Okay. And that's because I turned the other one into dried animal dung? It may be. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk to this one. Tell this one to go back to doing wood. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. There's only there's only enough dung in town for one dung based fuel generation team. Merchant ship. Thank you, Tim. There we go. Uh, right. Oh, downtown pipe. Right. What do you got? An oven. Uh, yeah, this interests me. Uh, obtain through trade only. I like it. I'm putting that in there just for the, a chicken for four and a half G's. I've got geese now. I don't need chickens. Wouldn't you like to have the chickens? I might. I might like to have the chickens. It's true. But I'll be honest with you. I've got geese now. I don't need chickens. But chickens though. But geese though. Don't need chickens. No. Chickens add nothing to this party, whereas uh, an oven might. I don't know where I'll use it, but I'll figure it out. Um, there was somewhere that was asking for an oven earlier on, and I'm, I'm going to go and furnish them with one. And they'll be, they'll be pleased as punch. Right, I've got a thousand rice. You can have that. That's 400 quid's worth. Sorry, it's make me microphone there. It wasn't intentional. Uh, then we've got some glass. Yeah, you can have that as well. Yep. Then we've got spirits. Yeah, you can have that as well. Still, yep. Yeah, soapy soap soap yep five just five just 50 stop smashing the microphone yeah i know all right rope oh our first our first rope sale yeah, it's gonna be close to our first 500 linen oh super two oh, we're 400 quid short and for some reason i got 1500 salt just sat here oh uh, 0.8 per unit yeah you need 400 i'm thinking it's going to be 500 then isn't it there you go. Right. Transact. Woot. All right. Uh, good. Yeah, no. Happy deal. Right. Go figure out who it was. Wanted an oven. All right. Was it the clinic? Really unlikely. Okay. Is it the glassworks? Uh, a brick kiln? No. No, not the glassworks. Okay. Is it the smithy? Might be. Oven? No. Is it someone what does baking? Please hold. Alright, okay. Over to the barbecue house. Oven? Yes. What does that do? Remodel the structure with an oven to improve the work efficiency of food-related production. I don't think this is a big win, I'll be honest, but I'm going to set it up here in the barbecue house nonetheless. Um, because, uh, because there we go. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm. All right. Yeah. And fifteen hundred salt. Who's been playing League of Legends? Ha 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 ha. Right. Just. Besides which, I don't play League of Legends. I play Dota because uh, League of Legends for kids. Uh, Dota's for you know serious-minded individuals who play video games in a serious-minded fashion. Yeah. I've I've got to wait for the oven to leave the docks and I'm not entirely sure no it hasn't yet I, I imagine they're not entirely sure where they're going to put it I could tell them where to put it if it would just leave the docks what's move in mode prioritize moving the selected items something or other uh, into the building inventory if disabled moving out the items to warehouses will be higher priority right there we go yeah 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 you sure yep Okay, all right, we've got to wait for the oven to leave and then I can use it. Once I've got it, I can use it. That's basically it. Goose was found by Hunter. Too late. You, where did you find it there, Hunter? Did you find it in the field, O oh, Gooses? Because there are 18 gooses in the field, O oh, Gooses. I'm just saying. There's a tornado. Oh, no. Derek has replaced Zelda as a blacksmith. Zelda's gone. Is that a tornado? Right, I'm leaving. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, where is it this time? Well, I don't get, keep it moving and then there's a good chance you'll see it. Is it following the same track? It's not following a vastly different track, but we'll we'll see in due course whether it's following exactly the same one. Okay. It it irks me ever so slightly that you can't there's no shifty shift shift on your camera angle. You're fixed at the camera angle, which means I can't take this in at the angle that I would choose to. 
I think this is following a slightly different path, but not radically different. I think we could lose Town Hall and the tailor and the tool workshop unless it decides to hang a right immediately or a left. Well, what do you think? Two citizens are freezing. Tell them to go and stand in the volcano. Why are we completely out of water? I better toggle that on while I'm still alive. Okay. No, thanks for that notification. This town is developing well. Uh, let's go to the town hall and see if they'll take us in. Hang on. While I've still got a town hall. Uh, check for these. No immigrants. Oh, okay. okay. No, if they were here, I, I was about to let them in. It was about to be their lucky day. Oh, no. We, we're losing stuff. It could. We could be about to lose quite a few. Yeah. Wow. Who'd be a buffalo in that farmstead? You just wouldn't, would you? Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, violence. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I can't really, there we go, we need, this is the angle, turn it to F11. There we go. Oh, dear. Nice to see the water wheel still working, though. Ah, oh, oh, ah, the repair bill. Oh. Oh, you vicious tornado beast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No progress for you, sunshine. Uh, I imagine we just lost quite a few people there. Uh, yeah, I reckon, we, I reckon we probably did. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, meteorologically, tornadoes don't happen in winter. Um, well, it's a, tornadoes are a result of the uh, the temperature up top and the temperature down bottom having a bit of a bit of an argument, right? And therefore, it's just it's very unlikely. Now this is one of those ice tornadoes that you've heard all about. Yeah. Now clear off. You've had you've had your fun. Now go away. Let's have a look at the score. We were at a population of 270. That has now dropped a little to about 180. I think we just lost about 90 people. 80 or 90 people just died. Flipping heck. Oof. There you go. That's the, uh, uh, that's the destruction countdown right there. Okay. All right. Get back to work, everybody. All right. Uh, what are we going to prioritize? Uh, housing, I suppose. What were you making beforehand? It was a sawmill. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Yeah. We're going to do one at a No, no, you should probably queue up a few. We're then going to have to figure out which industries to turn on or off. Uh, yes. Yeah. E That's the housing problem sorted. It really is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't got a housing problem for a while. Um, yeah. You know what we're going to need? We're going to need more builders. Yeah, otherwise we're going to be here all day. Uh, yeah. Okay, right, slow it down. Let's, uh, let's strategize. Uh, right, we'll get out over here to work. Workshop Central Services. Builders, 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 builders. Right. Yeah. Do you think they use builders or do you think they use repairers? I don't know. We'll build some builders anyway. All right. Uh, stick that on expedite, would you? Uh, expedite. There you go. Right. You, what are you looking for? It's an ordinary family home. Yes. But are you waiting for builders or are you waiting for repairists? What, wait for one to rock up and then click on them. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll know. If it's repairists, I'll hire some more. One citizen's thirsty. Jump in the lake. I ain't got time for thirsty. One citizen's freezing. Yeah, okay. Well, that I'll grant you. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on it. It's just a question of... Uh, 
any of my magnificent workforce rocking up to do the job. Any at all. This is what is leading me to believe it might be my repairing folk rather than my builders. Builders since the buildings were destroyed. I would have thought so. But I've got builders I've got. Well, if it was builders, you just expedited a building, a building unit over here somewhere. Yeah. Builder's cabin. Right. Slow it up. Right. Who are we laying off? Farmers. Okay. Switch it off. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need rice. Not at the moment. We need builders, and you three are hired. Bing, bing, bing. Yep, you've learnt a lot about uh, growing crops. Now know something about growing buildings, please, as quickly as possible. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Right. I've now got two builders sheds. We'll uh, we'll find out in due course. Whether or not that's going to work. You could also suspend your trading route. That will free up seven more workers. Uh, yeah. Assuming, of course, they didn't get swept up. They may well have done. Yeah. There you go. Person with hammer. And in you go. Hammer time. Two citizens have no tools. All right. I better check on the tool makers and make sure they're still viable. Tools are going to be pretty critical at this point. Alright, okay, yeah. Let's uh, let's get the rebuild queues going. Right. Let's get these houses up, because the sooner I get people into houses, the sooner they'll start procreating. Uh yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's start there. Right, over here to Tool Central. Tool Central. Just Helen. No, that's a marketplace. Uh that's a tailor. Yeah. There's a smithy. Two workers. They got no steel. Uh, all right. Okay. Tell you what we could do. Stop making steel tools for a bit. Let's start making some iron tools. They're cheaper, and we can knock them out more readily. I like it. One citizen starving. They shouldn't be. Go and eat some peas. I mean, admittedly, we haven't got as much food as uh, we've had historically. All right. Should we flush the rice out of here? Yep. Okay, yeah. Anything else? No. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, hold on. What's this? Uh, strong winds and heavy rains from the ocean this year was far beyond normal levels, and sudden floods have displaced my people, says Mao. Uh, now the disaster is over, but we need wood to rebuild our homes. Take a number! Uh, support with 400 timber. Yep, there you go. I've got three grand. I've got three thousand. Turns out I've got plenty. Uh, there you go. Yep. Now I'll clear off. Uh, Dobot. Uh, I don't know if you have witnessed other content on this channel. Uh, I know one or two things about trains. There you go. You call it content yourself. Uh, I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're quoting. Um, but yeah, I use it from time to time. And the thing is, uh, I loathe it. But it's because it is the universal what everybody calls it. It's uh, it's incredibly difficult not to fall into the trap of of calling it that yourself. Now I want to keep my orchards active, and therefore I need to make sure I've got at least one person working them. Same goes for uh, cattle operation. All right, uh, let's let's no 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 no. There you go. Right. Let's let's knock a couple of you out of here. The geese can be maintained by four of you instead of seven. How's this? That's five of eight. Uh, let's go four of eight, please. Right. Zero of one at the knitting workshop. Get it rebuilt. Uh, the reed field. Get it rebuilt. All right. What's going on here? Hello. I'm an advanced tailor. You are currently not working. There you go. Stick a pause over the top of the ones that aren't working. That way, you'll know you switched them off. Uh, the repair shop. We've got nobody in the repair shop. Okay. Let's remedy that immediately. There you go. Go and do some repairs there, team. Well done. Uh, who's this? You are the apiary. Oh, we've got to have honey. Go on, Madeline. Uh, and over here. This is the boiler room. Go on, Maggie. 
There we go. I can't do this everywhere, you know. Some of you are going to have to look after yourselves. This kiln factory currently has Anne working there. Anne, get, uh, get a different vocation for the moment. I'm uh, suspending the expansion of our kiln operations for a little while. <gasps> the old folks' home is open. I have solved all of my housing problems at the same time. Partly through some of them being killed off. But as you can see, everyone here is uh, is over the age of 60, which means they, I mean, basically I say old folks, and they're not that old. Um, but uh, they're no longer able to have children. They are still able to, if we take uh, Samantha, who's 83, is still in the mine. Good for Samantha. That's a vocation. That's not a job. Yeah. Yes. Okay, right, good. Right, this is, this is okay. We've got 41 homeless people. That's uh, less than ideal. The soap workshop. Oh, we better we better get that operational. I mean, firstly, otherwise, what are we going to do with all that fat? Um, yes. All right. What's going on here? Transfer station. Um, pfft, not essential. Okay. All right. You're looking for exclamation marks. This is the police station. Better have that. And you're a cop now. Congrats. Uh, up here. The Butcher. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sausage Central has has been destroyed. Oh, no. Uh, along with Sausage Central's warehouse. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. All right, have we got these houses built yet or what? Nope. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, crikey. Yeah. Yeah. Up oh, the tempo. There you go. Yeah. I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to sit and wait while some of this is rebuilt. Uh, right. Con, con mats. We've got stone. Yes. Okay. Wood. We've got some. Nay, plenty. Yeah. I'll tell you something. If this, this is going to give us an opportunity to kind of max out some of our fundamentals. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Uh, a reservoir. No, we probably should be bringing in some water. Uh, you reckon? Yeah, yeah, I've got a spare worker. All right. You've got no one working in the clinic. That's important. Dr. Samantha. That's not Samantha from the mines, is it? Uh, Samantha, doctor, yes. Age. Home, nursing home. I think it's Samantha from the mines. Well, that's nice. Uh, speaking of which, where is the mine? No, the forge is closed down. It's not, is it? It's got an exclamation mark over the top of it. No, it's just because it's not out of it's out materials. All right, here is the mine. All right. Carol, Ishara, Jackson, congratulations. I release you from the mine for the time being. Yeah. You, quarryists, no release for you. We're going to need your uh, your stony goodness uh, in the in the near future. Okay, yeah. All right, checking. What was I checking? I was checking something important. No, you weren't. Uh, right, hold on, what's this? Sand pit's broken. Uh, oh, let's get number two pasture up, please. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Uh, there's no one working in the salt works. Yeah, my, my heart bleeds for them. Yeah, and... We're maxed out on... Uh, oh, no. Output limit reached. Coal mine's broken. All right. Okay. Well, that's freed up some... Freed up some lumber... Some labourers, at least. And that's a good thing. He... More builders' huts than nuke them. No, Chris. No. I've got two builders' huts. And when I, when I build a hut, it stays there until I take it down again. Yeah, and that's true. School. Yep, get that working. Okay. Derek, the teacher, is in house. 28 people still need somewhere to live. All right, let's, uh, let's queue up this next lot. Yeah. 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 I'm doing this based on uh, the assumption of, uh, of one builder, one house. And I think I've got six builders in total. Um, so uh, working on that basis, maybe that will work out. Oh, speaking of which, you lot, no, cancel this. Yeah, 
I wanted to destroy these. Uh, give me this. Give me that. Yeah. Demolish. 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 Dim. 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 I think that's got it. Has it? I think it, no, it hasn't. They built that as a house. No, they haven't. That's just showing the outline of a house. Can you hit delete and it go? Uh, press demolish. Demolition in progress. Good. Demolition in progress. Yeah. Demolition in progress. Demolition in progress. Good. Right, and then I'll put a boiler house in there, and we'll uh, we'll get our heat distribution going while the opportunity presents itself. Uh, we've got a marketplace there where we should get back up again. Uh, they don't appear to have listened, Gov. They they don't, do they? No. Demolish. Thank you. And this one. There you are. Right. And then let's uh, let's book in a boiler room. Super. Right. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, rebuilding after a disaster should be automated. Actually, I don't think it should. I think. Uh, Having to pick and choose what you're what you're going to fix first, I think is great. I call that gameplay. Sheriff's found a murderer. Who? It's uh, Madeline the apiarist. It's Madeline the booted out of town. Get out. Yeah. I put you in charge of the bees. I thought you were better than that, but you weren't. I've got no labourers available. Okay. Yeah. I can't even have... I'm not even allowed bees now. They don't trust me with them. Yeah, what's your problem? No one making salt. Uh, we'll, we'll cope. Yeah. You don't know what you're doing with yourself. Uh, well, I think we're going to... Uh, we're going to set you up on Buffalo. Yeah. Because, you know, times... Uh, things come, things go. But uh, the Buffalo must flow. Uh, number four pasture, please. Uh, number to transfer three. There you go. No, oh, all right. Number number nine, whatever number it is, transfer them over there, and then uh, let's take. Uh, no, no. Here we go. Uh, we'll take Carey off number five pasture, and uh, and number eight pasture appears to have recruited automatically. All right. Well, Carey can go and find another job anyway. Uh, are you lot working? Yep. That's why your herb count is looking more more relaxed now. Okay. All right. Good. How's the rebuild, chaps? Uh, you're waiting for steel. There's steel coming. Don't have a don't have a paddy. It's, it's coming. Right. Get over here. You rebuild that. And then this. Uh, this is going to be a nice place to live eventually. Before the next tornado comes through. It's going to be lovely. Yeah. It's going to be... Ah, oh, it's just going to be wicked and lovely. There you go. Hello, bees. Hello, bees. Thank you, team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, bees. No, I mean, I don't need it. <laughs> Obviously, I don't need bees. Uh, but, uh, of course we need bees. Bees are a, uh, an absolute essential. Uh, what I'm also going to need, pretty quickly, is another coal mine. Because that's all of my... Um, uh, military fuel as well. Could have put her in the beehive. Yeah. Samantha's going to be the next murderer. She seems to turn her hand to anything. It's quite possible. Steady Bob, you're off. Thank you very much for swinging by. Lovely to see you. Uh, right. How are we looking? Oh, it's coming along. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. The bounce back is occurring. We've still got 21 people out in the cold. Uh, I'll have that remedied as quickly as possible, but there's, there's, a, there's a lot to contend with. And I'll be completely honest with you, I was hoping by the end of this stream, I would be better off than I was at the start of this stream. And that is a ship. Yeah, but you see, I don't really want to buy anything at the moment, because it's not like I can use it necessarily. You park in or what? In your own time? All right. What are you selling? Steel tools. No, I'm good for tools. Uh, stone tools? No, I said I'm good for tools. Pay attention. Uh, have you got any seeds? You've got custom gowns. Yeah, and some backpacks. You know, I'll take the backpack backpacks. I don't know if they're automatically issued to people. I think they are. We'll take candy as well. Uh, we'll take some. Uh, we'll take some. I don't know why. My my instinct is always 
that my brain says that's the number they have on them and not that's the uh, that's the unit price it's almost like it needs like a, a currency symbol or something so just a thought you know right wrong doesn't really matter uh 50 of them yeah 150 of those yeah uh 500 of that yeah and uh, i don't know let's go 500 and see how far off i am 1600 okay let's go 650 74 oh, flipping out. 800 1860 okay another 45 quid's worth of stuff which is three more of those you miscounted you're now short to the tune of 10 okay pause it up before it leaves just give him 10 quid there you go transact there you go right all useful stuff all the time there we've got to get the mood up in fact the mood is up murders should be right down okay all right okay yeah get the gowns eileen i'm not i'm not doing the, i'm not doing the gown shopping not right now no later certainly but there's more than gowns going on at the moment what's your problem jess uh need some oats yeah where am i growing oats very good question fair i seem to be great there we go oats okay all right i was just checking yeah all right we've got some kids in school still got capacity in school but actually not a massive amount of capacity in school uh the knitting workshop doesn't know what they're doing well you're making rope dopey elvis rope dopey yeah gwendolyn's graduated from school gwendolyn is available to work that's what it should say gwen how do you fancy work in the small supply station not much no i didn't think so how's the rebuild uh, you've got four on the rego oh, hold on the marketplace is uh, available gwen no she's got a, she's found a job already what's she gone to do i don't know she's legged it by the looks of it okay marketplace needs a laborer yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it will have it will have i'll render site and your theater we've got no actors oh however will we survive as a species your boiler room's empty as well all right okay yeah all right who's uh who's getting made redundant then show me where i have an abundance of workers i've got two people working this well you're fired right okay one of you theater make them happy all right stop them from being despondent and you keep them fed thank you and we're all good here all right okay keep the rebuild efforts rolling yeah it's gonna be good this is gonna be it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's gonna be good this is all gonna work out uh did i lose the oven good question don't know don't know but that is a very good question aren't gowns a mood booster when used in the theater that's right yes 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 yeah, that's true. Uh, on the subject of herself, I'm just going to need to go and check in. Uh, I'll leave. I'll leave it rolling. I'll be like two minutes. So I won't be very long. Uh, let's do that. Let's do. There you go. I'll let you watch the. In fact, I'm going to queue up a bit more. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There. You go. And what else? There you go. Yeah. Anything else? There you go. All right. Zoom in. Press that. Yeah. Hit this.
Well, okay. And my attentions are sadly required elsewhere. Yeah, everything's fine, but uh, but I'm needed elsewhere. So I'm going to have to call an end to this one right now. I will do a follow-up stream where we see if we can't recover. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. I've been Colonel Failure. Sorry to cut it short, but uh, the real world is, 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 is calling and I must go. Uh, I'll be back next week with more, including a new series I think you might find exciting. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch up with you next time. And cheerio. Press button.